No. All right. Eating on a podcast isn't a good look. All right. Yeah, we're in. It's not. It's not. Uh, Episode twenty-six down. of the Ride Companion. Welcome to all of you listening and all of you watching from the millions of people around the globe. Something used to start like that. What was it? Imagine if it was millions of people. It'd be bizarre, wouldn't it? Instead, one it's, day, mate. It's, yeah, one day maybe. But instead, it's a group of people who, from our Christmas ride, I've learned are very much like-minded individuals, people I've never met before, (laughs) and it felt like I'd known them forever. We had a wicked time, didn't we? Really great day, dude. Like, yeah, super good day, to be honest. Really, really good. I mean, mean, yeah, big props to everyone who came out for the Christmas ride. I'm I'm not entirely sure of the numbers. Maybe 20-odd, 24, 25, I don't know. Yeah. Let's say 26. I tell you what, we did it. We're on episode we kind of did it low key, didn't we? On a bit, little bit on purpose. We didn't want to blow it up and make people feel like they had to travel from all over. But it made mm. me realise, like, it, that was a super fun day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. Um, everything fell into place perfectly. I think a really yeah. nice group of people. Obviously, yeah. you know, our listeners are amazing anyway. But like a broad range of of mountain bikers you had people who have literally just getting into it with yeah. you know like the dude with the l plates on uh obviously yourself pro rider you've got sam who's really sort of rides a lot it's just like this huge old older people young people um just a general broad view of mountain biking which i think sums up perfectly what we're hopefully both trying to achieve with this it's not for any particular group or any particular age or experience or whatever it's quite an inclusive yeah thing so I feel like that was it, it couldn't have gone any better, in my opinion. No, it couldn't. And you know, I, I, I um, you know those things like like you you sign up for something and then you're like, sometimes like the three hour drive puts me off a bit, and I'm like, oh yeah. god, we got to go to Forest of Dean today. You know, for me anyway, I'm useless. Yeah. I'm 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 like a homie, aren't I? I'm, I just ride near me, and I I don't put a lot of same. effort in I'm exactly in travel the same. And all that. <laughs> yeah, and um, sometimes you got. to jump in and do it and i think we've talked about it before and then as soon as you do it you think man i should do it more often and like why was up yeah. why was i even remotely concerned about it it was it was the best it was such fun I, I think it's a huge testament to the podcast and to the people involved and to the community that's building around this thing that people were prepared to come on their own i thought that was amazing yeah that you was know, rad wasn't it a yeah. lot of people i spoke to were like oh yeah i've drove down from wherever you know some people yeah. have come from quite far away on their own and it's it's like wow that's a really sort of touching thing that people will feel comfortable doing that because yeah yeah i'm i'd struggle you know i was thinking about it on the way home if you know a particular podcast that we both listen to i try to think of it let's say let's just say fight with a kid just for example we're like right we're doing a meet up at a comedy at a comedy sort of venue and just come and hang out yeah i don't think i'd go no you'd be just, like well, yeah. what am i gonna like what, what is it going to be like i don't know there's too many unknowns for me yeah it was mad though isn't it? you spent some time all, all right obviously we don't have um we're, we're we're not talking with people but they're listening to us so they really know us and if if, if anything any old bollocks that we've chatted or silly stories <laughs> and whatever resonate yeah. with, with people i feel like it is like a like the people that turned up were we're all the same sort of people whether it's young or old and and then, and yeah. then ultimately, it's bikes, isn't it, dude? Like, regardless of what level you're at, we had such a good day on the hill and like totally. rode all kinds of different trails. And, yeah, it was. Wicked. It's really nice just to see people just getting to know each other as well. You know, yeah, it's not yeah. necessarily about even us meeting these people. It's like they've met some other guy who's interested in the same stuff, or yeah. like, or very, you know, like you said, we all come together over this mutual love of riding yeah. bikes, but also love of creating community and getting to know people and you know stuff yeah. like that so yeah super proud of it um ultimately yeah, it was a shit show you. zero organization it worked out perfect just like <laughs> the podcast <laughs> yeah. yeah it was a it was a perfect reflection of the podcast wasn't it really yeah, it the was. whole thing yeah. yeah no guides you see what happens but yeah again thank you to the dude i can't remember the guy's name who took us over to some of the off-piece stuff at forest of dean first yeah some really fun trails um, and then we rode a bit more of the bike parky stuff in the afternoon. Again, just as fun. But yeah, I'm not sure I would have known where to go. But well, I wouldn't have known where no, to go. So, no way. Yeah. No, it was it was banger. We have to do them again. And to be honest, I'd happily do them again there because it looks like the, the amount of trails they have over there and stuff to explore. Mm. We didn't even mm. scratch the surface. We just no. Rode they kept saying, trails. didn't they? Like, oh, we've only just rode this one. There's all this other side. There's this hillside yeah, over here. Yeah. There's 
the opposite side of the hill. So yeah, I'm I mean, editing again, the familiar. YouTube from the day as we speak. I'll tell you what. Oh, really? I, yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll set myself a challenge. It's gonna be out by the time this is out. Oh wow, good effort. Did you get some content? I didn't even really see you with the camera that much. No, well, I just had a GoPro on, but it's so funny. Like, like you can relive the entire day. It's proper funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's well good. <laughs> I think it'll be good. Yeah, good. Yeah. I'm stoked. Really, so, really stoked. So the rest Super of our proud. listeners can come come along for the day with us soon on YouTube. Yeah, we're going to be are you releasing it in the metaverse. That one, or is it just going straight YouTube? Imagine if you could if, if you had 3D cameras. <laughs> if you had 3D cameras, you could actually relive an entire day. Yeah, you could. You could if everyone had a camera on as well, and then you could jump from person to person. Oh I feel like that's going to be that'll be a thing one day, won't it? That you could. You know, again, we're just talking about uh, Supercross coming up. Imagine being able to watch that from any point of view. Yeah, yeah. You Whose point of view would you watch them. a Supercross race from in the 450 class? <laughs> Man, who, whoever's it wouldn't be whoever's up front. No, it'd be. I'd just be going straight mid pack. <laughs> just you want to see some carnage. Yeah, you want the battles. I never know whether yeah. um, when, on the live footage whether they get all of the best battles. I think they must do. They know what they're doing, but. Mm. You know, when it flicks from the front to like mid pack to a battle that's yeah. going on and stuff. There's nothing better than being in that stadium and you just hear like, oh, and you, you sort of scan in the, yeah, <laughs> the area. Yeah, yeah. Like, what's, what's is happening? it on what's the happening? track? Is it in the stands? Yeah. Like, where is it? Yeah, you <laughs> it could can, just be you never know in America. It's quite hard to follow. <laughs> well, well, the times I've been to Supercross, it's been really quite difficult to follow because it's been like, yeah, you don't, you almost don't know. You don't realize how many people are lap, lapped traffic, how many mm. of the best riders in the world become lapped traffic it's just bizarre yeah. isn't it and you it's quite yeah, it hard is. to work it out tough who's to follow. Front. Yeah. yeah totally it is it is good times man i'm excited for that stuff already Imagine- we'll, uh, we'll do a bit more of a preview show coming yeah, soon too, right let's but- do it yeah we'll try and get someone on who knows yeah um imagine back to that 3d goggles thing you could go to disneyland and wear a 3d camera and then just document your day and then you could wear the goggles and you could just be in that person's Mm. brain not brain but you'd just be a camera on top of their head looking around pretty weird that isn't it super weird and in a way you can rides. kind of do like in a way if if for example you went to disneyland and you instagram live the whole thing mm. and i was at the you know i was saying oh turn left and you turn left and weird. then you go like, right go on this ride and you go on that ride like you could almost yeah. sit at home and have someone do it for you right did you see the Sam Pilgrim video? He did um, third person riding, so he had one of those rigs on. Mm. With a, I haven't no, but with it was, like, it, but you can get those like um, suits, and they've got like a big pole out the back that you put the camera on, so it looks like um, almost like a computer game. Oh wow! Yeah. Really? So he had that on, live streaming yeah. to a set of three D goggles. How weird is that? So he's what he's in the goggles. He can see himself. Oh, and he was trying to control, reacting in real time. In theory, what is that? Can reason? you imagine I need to how? See that. Yeah, Pilg did that, and I actually think uh, there's something in that. That's bizarre. I think the lag. I, I remember him talking about the lag was really apparent because obviously right. on a bike. If you think how amazing a brain is at computing tiny little things, like mm. really, it doesn't matter whether you're good or bad at biking. Your brain's doing amazing things whilst you're riding along, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Like, it's, it's insane, stuff, really. An insane this... amount of time. Yeah, an ape poked on top mm. of a thing with wheels, working mm. out wh- what it's... And it does feel, it feels quite like, even from a beginner perspective, it feels quite, like, intuitive, doesn't it? Like, you lean one yeah. way, you lean the other way. It makes sense yeah. somehow. I don't know how, yeah. but it does. Yeah. I was listening to a thing today that we were talking a little bit about wingsuit like you know windsuit jumping how we haven't evolved enough because we don't do it to to sort of register the speed and the time that things take to come at you does that make sense so yeah if you totally. jumped off something and you you were going towards a tree your brain can't figure out like how quick that's coming and the velocity no. and the g's and it doesn't know what's I going on which is why feeling yeah you, you, you ever overshot a turn on a road bike <laughs> Yeah, but when I first got one, which is why I find it hilarious that I bought one off uh, off Facebook Marketplace and went and picked it up. Took over. I hurried, I did already own some clip shoes, so I took them over, clipped in, and then I think it was the second or third turn out of this guy's house. It was like down a hill, and I overshot the corner by miles. 
the worst <laughs> thing, isn't it? Because it's self <laughs> Straight into a bush. <laughs> like, it makes yeah. it worse. You're overshooting a turn, so you break, which then yeah. makes the turning harder, which then makes the... <laughs> oh, it's just a horrible feeling. You're just locked in. You're like, wow, we're actually moving. I didn't realise I was going this quick. This is awful. Yeah. It's I scary. The same. same with anything that you overshoot. Like, overshooting a jump feels awful. It's the worst feeling yeah, ever, sort of watching the, watching the landing go by you and yeah. whatever. Do you, do you ever see that video of the wingsuit guy clipping? I think he's okay, but he clipped something. I imagine it's much the same. You think, like, oh, wow. you know, you can't register how fast it's coming at you. Oh, is that the Jeb, Jeb Corliss guy, maybe? I know he's pretty, he's done one of those before. Maybe. Not Shane, Shane McConkey actually hit bridge, is that right? Shane McConkey? I, I, I can't remember. I'm sure that's how Shane he McConkey He clipped died. something. I think it was a rock. It, he, he broke bones and it, like, sent yeah. him into a flip. And he actually recovered, I think. We'll have to find the clip. It's wow. really gnarly, yeah. Yeah, but he, he was okay. I don't think he died from it. I don't know, but maybe he did. Maybe I've always wanted to try base jumping. I was kind of jealous that uh, I seen Matt Jones do it not that long ago off, um, yeah. off he... a wind turbine, I think. Yeah, from maybe? the sounds of things, that was that is really gnarly what he did because he had he didn't have previous. No, he just sent it and hope. Not I'm, he I'm sure he went off. through something, but I think if yeah. you've got it, you just chuck the. Yeah, you, if, it, like, rather than it's... actually having to pull a cord, yeah. you can just literally throw it and just steer your way down with the cables. Yeah, so you don't, um, you're not in free fall for much time, but st- no. still, dude, absolutely ridiculous. Like, I know a friend of mine when we were traveling New Zealand bumped into a. I'm not entirely sure who it was. A guy in in New Zealand who was a Red Bull base jumper, who's part of like the Red Bull team or whatever. Yeah, and they got talking in a bar, and you know, my friend, the guy I was with actually yesterday, we'll talk about him no doubt soon. Um, but he, he said to him, oh, I'll take your base jump in, no problem. Like, we can set it up so all you have to do is jump off and just steer yourself down. I'll show you how to do it, no problem. It's it's relatively easy. And he didn't take him up on the offer. And I've always brought that up. I'm like, dude, like, you had the offer for, like, one of the best in the world to just literally hand it to you on a plate. But yeah. Not, there's not many, like, extreme sports like that. You can do that, right? Imagine, you know, you could meet anyone at the top of a downhill course and they're not going to almost do it for you like you've still got a yeah and you can get that you you can you can feel the the thing the exact you don't necessarily have to do any training or anything you can just do it no the only equivalent would be to just sending someone off a jump but that wouldn't end well would it yeah i guess well yeah base jump could the, the thing about like base jumping is like obviously it's it's not dangerous most of the time but when it is it's like yeah, mega it's dangerous control. isn't it so it's mm. it's quite a hard one it's something it? i've always wanted to do always always wanted to do it I've, I've, oh I've mate probably, you should do it that'd be wicked i've told you the skydiving story on here i think about the skydiving christmas present i think i have tell it again if not long story short it's christmas related it's good my yeah it might be birthday actually my ex 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 girlfriend um she bought me a skydiving experience like a whole package of going skydiving for my birthday and at the time i was really surprised because i knew that she was pretty much broke and i was like this is an insane thing it was you know to go out to spain and do level one and two so you'd be an accomplished person you could go and do it and just jump and do you know do it on your own so she she got me this thing and i was like i'm blown away by it but so my birthday is december the 5th that's right so she got it me for my birthday christmas was coming around pretty quick and i was like fuck i need to get a good gift because she spent all this money on me i felt a bit of the pressure so i bought a really nice canon um whatever camera yeah you know really nice camera uh and she didn't get me anything for christmas which i thought was a bit strange but okay and then anyway fast forward a few a few months and we split up and i was like oh right i'll take her up on that skydiving trip i'll just go and sort my shit out and uh, I called the company to book it, and she'd literally paid a twenty-five pound deposit on the whole on the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, four hundred quid out of pocket stitch, on a camera. Man. That is a stitch. <laughs> yeah, oh, he was, I remember the that. dude been like, "Yeah, oh, you just need to pay the balance." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, no worries." It was like two thousand five hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> like full stitch up, bro. Full that stitch. That is, isn't it? So you didn't do it in the end? <laughs> yeah. No, nah, I never went. I was just like, well, kind of could have just paid for it myself in the much. first place, you know? Yeah, I don't really need to do it for that amount of money. So, yeah, I never did it, but that'd be cool. I'd like to do it. I would like um, to do it. Yeah. Going back to the like the bloke offering you a chance at doing it. My friend. He offered my friend a chance. Yeah, offered. Yeah, but if it was you, 
you yeah. would just 100% jump at the chance. Jump yeah, at the chance yeah. The ball. I really would. Genuinely, not just saying that yeah. I'm here, I'd 100% be... And that would be, be what, it, yeah. like, like, let's say it was a bridge, what would it... A cliff, what... Yeah, I don't know. It was in New Zealand, so I've never been to New Zealand, so I don't really know. I'm guessing they'd do cliff... If I'm not mistaken, it's legal to base jump in New Zealand, but I might be wrong. Right. There's a few countries in the world, right, where you can go and just... I know Switzerland was maybe one of them, but I think New Zealand might be one of the skydiving capitals be, or base jumping capitals because it's yeah. not illegal to do it. You can go and just crack on. Do you ever remember, um, do you ever remember your mum going, if your friend told you to jump off a cliff, would you do it? <laughs> that was like a yeah, way true. of... <laughs> Actually, I did once. Uh, it worked out okay. <laughs> he wasn't even my friend. I just met him in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> and did it super hungover the next day. I think yeah, I would do right, it, but it would right. have to be the right circumstances. Like if it, if the guy looked a bit shady, you know. I think you'd know. I think you'd feel it. There'd be a there'd be a resonance. There'd be there's something in your stomach which was like, yeah, this is a good idea. Because you, some you people know, are good at sometimes... bullshit though. You know, yeah, like, like people that. do career long bullshit. They're bullshit artists. They just con and con yeah, and true. con. You could pick the yeah. wrong guy in the bar. Yeah, that Red Bull hat though, man, that does a lot of talking, doesn't it? If you it's see true. a Red Bull hat, you're fizzy like, fizzy drink yeah. hat kills it, doesn't it? Fizzy yeah. drink hat, yeah, fizzy, verified. Fizzy drink hat, verified, verified. tick, professional. Yeah, this guy tick. knows. <laughs> he's got a million Instagram right, followers. About, he must know what right, he's what doing. What about bloke? He's got a bit of a limp, and he's got a hat on the, the Ribena. It just says Ribena on it, and he's like, Dave, dude, not just an dude. He's sipping um... not just an. <laughs> no, you're not. He's doing yeah. sambuca shots in the bar, Davey. Tomorrow, <laughs> I'm going to a bridge. <laughs> Want to come? Uh, I'll think about it. I'll, I'll go up there and I'll see how it feels in the morning, dude. You know, <laughs> he's got some shady moth-bitten parachute. He's trying to pack into. Yeah. He's just like screwing it up into a ball. I think that's the that's the left. I think, can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it'd, have to, it'd have to be really legit wouldn't it the person would yeah. have to be you'd know terrifying. I think you'd know you'd feel it there'd be a feeling you get that someone yeah. really knows this shit yeah. but still a big thing man but I, I feel like there's there'd be no way of getting that feeling again of jumping off something no, it'd be and just literally the first one you'd just, want to be doing yeah. Yeah. If the first one would be great would you do it again you probably would get the bug I don't know have Who you knows? done a bungee jump I've never done a bungee jump. Have you done a, no. like any form of skydive out of a plane or anything? Like a tandem one? No. No, I mean, I no. haven't done any of this no. stuff either. I've done one of those no. um, rope swing courses. Okay. Like zip lines, you know? Go away. You know, like, no, gnarlier than that. It was one in, it, I think it was in Sweden or Norway. I think it was in Sweden. And it was meant to wow. be the second biggest one outside of Whistler, which apparently has the biggest rope course. Wow. This was at the time. It's probably changed since. But it was um, all these like zip lines and you're like, they're really big. They go across this valley and you just work your way down the valley like doing these massive zip lines. But wow. I, I didn't really feel, the same with like roller coasters. I don't know if it makes me stupid, but I don't feel scared or worried about those things. But there no, would be a I'm point where I would, like a bungee jump, I think I would be quite scared. I'm not yeah. like scared of heights, but I'm just a bungee jump. I feel like there's be... more variables in a bungee jump than yeah. a roller coaster. You know, you've got the guys tying you in. You've got the yeah, the, just loops around. You've got a lot loops around your hog on the way down. Oh, mm. around your nuts. Yeah, Jeez. there's a lot of variables. <sighs> there's a lot of variables. I don't know how I feel about bungee jumping. Again, I don't, I don't know. And they just measure. What if they just measure the thingy wrong? People's heads that go in the water. Right. Don't, don't I don't think you. I don't think you need to look very far to see a few accidents of bungee jumping. <laughs> no, exactly. If there's ever a time where you don't lie about your weight, it's bungee jumping, isn't it? It's bungee jumping. Weight and height, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine just like glancing a rock at the bottom. <laughs> glancing, that's horrible. Just glancing it. Oh. Just enough that it like, it hurts you. Like, you have to oh wear a helmet, God, don't you? Even that alone, yeah, I'd be crazy. like, crazy. why do you have to wear a helmet? Uh, yeah, insane. <laughs> um, what it is... Uh, Last year, I think it was around April time. Oh, I don't want to hear the rest of the story. Sometimes Gary Avery gets feet and inches the wrong way around. <laughs> Metric Imperial, it always fucks with him, yeah. <laughs> I'd be awful at measuring stuff like that, dude. I, I, I can't measure for shit. No, I, I wouldn't be guess. a good bungee jump instructor at all. At no, all. Not at all. Actually, the a gnarly worst. job when you think about it. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. It's probably one of the gnarliest jobs. Yeah, I bet you have to deal with some annoying people yeah, you just like oh, just, just push them off just yeah. get off 
I bet I a lot of people would. wet themselves up the top as well, probably. And mm. cry and just, yeah. And then I'd be nervous about wetting yourself because you're like, what if it makes the rope slip? Oh, yeah. You, you we know. used to do a thing at, um, at like fairs. You know the the rides that like shoot you up in the air and then you come back down again? Mm. When they were about to shoot up, me and my friends would gather around the bottom. This is when we were quite young. And then and then we, we'd all go... Oh, 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 stop, 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 stop. Like that and point at one person's like <laughs> harness. What a horrible, horrible thing to do. That's awful. Yeah. I, did. I once there was a ride at a theme park up this way called American Adventure. And I think Ooh. it was called Sky something it was called. It was only when I was young, but it was like a 200 foot swing. And that was the closest I think I've ever come. That was yeah. really fun. That sounds that was dope, actually. Have, yeah. you, have you been um, to Vegas to those rides on the top of that building? No, I haven't. I haven't. I've been. I've only been to Vegas once. Called. It was shit. Can't remember. It's not the best. Not my favourite place, it. is it? Yeah, really if you're under twenty one, it was really, really boring. Yeah, yeah. let me find the um, rides. Um, it was on top of a is, skyscraper but... theme park on top of building. Mm. Uh, it's called ah, it's on top of Stratosphere. So Deeks, okay. Deeks, um, me, Bren, and Deeks went there uh, after Rampage one year. I can't remember when it was, but it, it was quite funny actually. I don't really care about that stuff normally, or I wouldn't like. It's not I don't care about, it, but I don't, I don't like seek it out. It just seems, right. And anyway, yeah. you're you, there, like check it out. Yeah, you you pay for it and you go up in this lift and you are on top of like one of the highest buildings there, and they've got all of just these horrible contraptions to make you feel. It, it is amazing, actually. If yeah, type in. Are you scared of heights? Would no, you say if someone you know? Not, I wouldn't say I'm scared of heights. It makes me feel a bit dumb, but I'm not. Okay, understood. But I'm I'm, I'm not. So it's distract- let me see it. Where is it? I'm, I'm finding feeling. it now. I'll send it to you in the um, thingy. But it it does look crazy as well. Like the uh, let me find the images for one second. There we go. So you can kind of see. How many? Um, you can kind of see how many like rides are from this mm. link that I'm sending you now. This is probably quite boring to people. Is, is, Benny's out the great. chat again. Benny, Benny, Benny um, not... had a big crash, didn't he? I haven't watched it yet. Have you seen the footage of it? Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. It was for the vlog, wasn't it? Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, wow. Sky jump from the Stratosphere Tower. So that's a. Bungee jump. Oh, so that basically. I didn't do. But you can see all the okay. other rides, right? There's like the tower in the middle at the top is like one of those ones that flies up, and I can't remember if it spins right. or if it oh just, yeah yeah or if it just drops and goes up and down. And then there's another one. Wow. Can you see that thing that looks like a seesaw? Yes, I mean it I can is essentially that, yeah. what it is. So you sit on these seats, yeah. and um, and then the seesaw rocks forwards, and you just like it just breaks last minute. And you're dangling over the massive. Wow. Yeah, it, gnarly, it was man. it was pretty cool. Bren's not and the good one they so the other ones you sit in a seat and it just spins you around. Yeah, yeah. They're like yeah, the one that, that's hanging over. And, yeah, and it dangles you over the edge. That one was yeah. kind of okay. It was the the break the one that, the seesaw one was probably the gnarliest for me because I was just thinking right. mechanically how are they breaking and how and how many right now in the UK winter how many brake pads I get through. <laughs> you just want to ask them guys are we using sintered or what here like when was the last time you changed the pads the rotor that's so true that is a fair point mate Not yeah I'd be pretty nervous at that yeah. no you don't want to be doing that do you when you're dangling off the edge of a building in Las Vegas no exactly no I feel like though for I, I and correct me if I'm wrong, but you know you come off doing something like Rampage for Brendan, and nothing's gonna bother you for at least a month or so yeah, after you that. Would have You'd be that. like, oh, I think it was after the canyon flip. Actually, we went up there, but he's terrified right. of flights, of, of heights, really right, scared really. of heights. Yeah, like even the last year was the only time he got roped in to to do any digging. Previously, right. he can't do it, and then as soon as he's on his bike, he's absolutely fine. It's really weird. Crazy, that isn't it? Yeah. How weird is that? It just feels safer really on it. Yeah, it is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know where the heights thing comes from. You scared of heights? No, I don't think I am. I think I'm okay with heights. I'm, yeah, no, I am. I am okay yeah. with heights. But again, you, I'm trying to think of like when have I been like super high that it would be scary? Yeah. And I don't really have 
anything. It's you know, like if you go to cliffs or walking on the edge of anything, I'm fine with yeah. whatever. That's that's all good to me. But yeah, I don't know how I'd feel about dangling off that building in Las Vegas. Lots of don't surprising people are quite scared. Like um, Claudio mm. at Rampage at the top had like I don't know whether you call it it's like a a vert like a vert not a vertigo attack, oh, really? but like a almost like a panic attack, and he had to like go on his hands and knees. Warner's terrified of heights. Hates right. it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He's really leaning into this egg thing at the moment. Have you seen? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. He's really leaning into that. Yeah, I think it's good, funny. It? I, was, I was messaging him the other day. I was like, dude, you're going hard on this egg thing. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> he set up a whole new Instagram for it. <laughs> Killing it. The man. I'm going to go for a ride with him soon, actually. I need to make it happen. That's funny. Yeah, he was right, meant to come to our Christmas ride. But, yeah, um, yeah. He didn't come. Obviously, he didn't come. But yeah, he was. Me- he said he was going to try, but yeah, it didn't happen. Busy man, busy man. Yeah. Tell me about your Christmas, dude. I want to know about your Christmas day and the run up to it. Especially Christmas. the run up to it. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I've just done the same thing for Christmas literally all my life. I'm very uninventive. I, I kind of feel like a lot of people have that as well. It's the first mm. year that my grandparents like haven't come over, which was sad that they're uh, they decided to call it this year not come over it's okay. stressful for them so it was just me mm-hmm. and uh siblings and uh that was it it was good laugh nice. we have we have it pretty mellow it's not like uh yeah i think we're, yeah it's a weird one I, I, it's, it it's an interesting thing isn't it christmas because everyone does it completely differently yeah yeah i've been thinking about it a lot of the last couple of days because i'm kind of hopefully like a lot of people kind of lucky that my family all live pretty close yeah, and I see same, them all the yeah. time anyway so I think a lot of people the Christmas thing is you know a bit more of a thing because they're maybe seeing the parents for the first time in in months or yeah. brothers or whatever whereas I see mine every day like if I don't see my dad over for two days there's something wrong yeah I speak to my you know I speak to my mum every day and Emma sees her family all the time as well so I think a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on Christmas day but we were like, well, we've, I've always been of the same opinion. I'm like, well, I see my dad every like every yeah. day almost anyway, you know. Uh, I'm not just going to get all excited because there's a bird on the table. Like it doesn't, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So we really tried not to um, not to go too hard on it. But we we had a uh, COVID run through the whole family, yeah, so it course. all got broken up anyway. So so was it yeah, not a, a big day? Up. Wasn't possible. No, nah, not all, not all. So so the plan was a pretty big Christmas meal at my. Uh, my dad's house with uh, my dad's partner's family so there's about 20 of those I think yeah so it's gonna be a pretty big a pretty big deal pretty big do and then slowly but surely people started getting the old uh, positive vid test yeah until it was like well there's no point doing this <laughs> so and then my dad tested positive on boxing day oh, yesterday dude. as we we're recording this on the I don't even know what day it is is it Monday Monday, Monday isn't it? yeah yeah. Oh, it's, I've um, heard that from a few people as well. A lot of people stories, are, yeah. have got, you know, have got that. Thankfully, it's a really sort of mild variant yeah. by those things at the moment. And my dad, you know, sounds like All he's good. got a cold. Yeah, but um, it just, yeah, totally wiped out our plans. So we ended up just um, having breakfast here at home. And then we headed over to my mum's uh, and had lunch over there. Nice. But again, you know, it's the one time of year, isn't it, where you talk about where did you have lunch and what did you do and how yeah. it's like... Again, we do it all the time anyway, so... Yeah, we, we we have a... Yeah, I, I feel like I'm the same. We have a low-key Christmas. One thing I do think is it's like one day where I don't feel guilty about not riding my bike or doing an activity or anything like that. Like, I, re- I really struggle normally. That's cool. And yeah. that day, I really, like, clock out, which I like. Good. You know? Yeah. You get on the beers early or the on the or the alcoholics. Dude, I didn't. I don't drink a drop. I'm useless. It's just not my scene. <laughs> I didn't drink a drop, a drop either. Do you not know? I feel <laughs> no, boring. I, didn't have anything. Like, I think I had. Oh, actually, I might have had half a glass of wine at my mum's house. I've never got lunch. pissed at Christmas. I used to. I used to go out relentlessly on Christmas Eve. Yeah, like biggins on Christmas Eve. Mm. Uh, we, we did. We yeah. did go out, but I didn't drink any alcohol. I had a mulled wine. There you go. On Christmas Eve, oh, I had nice. a mulled wine and we played cards in a pub and the pub was completely empty. It was cool. Yeah, it was like, same, mate. Yeah. It's weird, eh? Like, we were going to go out Christmas Eve as well. Uh, we ended up not going out for some reason. I can't remember what that was, but we ended up not going out. Um, but yeah, my friends that did go out were like, yeah, there was literally us in the whole pub, which usually, yeah. especially where we, where they went, which is pretty close to Sheffield, it would be heaving yeah and you, you know you sh- and that's one of the reasons we're like can we really be arsed with like studying cues and like people that's and, like, what i thought yeah i was like nah we'll just stay in 
Um, and no, no, we went to my, we went to Emma's parents. Sorry, that's yeah. getting quite confusing, I guess, for people who don't know my family dynamic. But we went to Emma's Emma's parents instead, and we just hung out there, you know, played yeah, some cool. games and just did whatever. But that's ultimately what it's about, right? It's just family. It's but yeah, absolutely. I see them all the time anyway. So uh, so my, that that um going out thing is like a tradition for us. It's like all of me and my two brothers and my sister go like go out the night before not really it's not go out but we just hang out like we wouldn't normally hang out which is a shame we should yeah. do i really enjoy yeah. hanging out with them it's like it's easy it's never you know we're all yeah. like the same people it's not it's so easy and i really enjoyed mm. it but it's funny normally for all of us it's like the one night of the year where you bump into people from school because we've all stayed living around where we where we went to school and it's yeah. fascinating like the conversations you have like all all of us have these conversations with these people that not that we didn't get on with at school but we didn't know them you know and you, and then you're older and hey we went to school or whatever and and then they ask you what, what you're up to and just the fuck you know like we what do you to, say oh we what used is to your make thing up all kinds of shit <laughs> <laughs> used to make up all kinds of shit, dude. It was, yeah, dude, yeah. I feel like your family would be kind of crazy there right? if you told them the truth. It's still kind of like, oh, he plays yeah, basketball. It's bullshit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. He's a he's a right mountain biker. Yeah, yeah. You'd be like, fuck off. Yeah, 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 <laughs> totally. But yeah, we just make up like it's fun to just like make up real mundane, gnarly mm. shit mm. and just yeah, see, see people try and be hyped for you. Oh, nice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear oh yeah I had a similar thing actually I didn't I, I didn't lie it was just a conf- you know when you try and explain to people what you do for a living and they have no idea what it is when yeah. I picked that I got a rental van from um, when com- coming down to the um, Christmas ride yeah, yeah, yeah. and the guy who served me at Arnold Clark because I, I rode over there was like eyeing up the bike and he was like oh it's amazing like, oh my god look at that thing how, how much is that and blah how did you get that and he was like asking so many questions that and then you like try and explain i'm Put like okay so i've got this bike company and like yeah. and he was just like okay <laughs> i just so you work, for work a bike on company. clark <laughs> like oh. <laughs> it's so confusing it is isn't it, it it's is. nice though i kind of like that I, I like that it's not easy to explain what you do for a living that's kind of what i've always wanted about my life so yeah yeah i'm not mad i'm not mad at it but i was feel mega conscious yeah easier to lie yeah. is what i was trying to say yeah, it's, it's easier right. just to totally lie i would feel real conscious of it with like um george's family you know and they mm. obviously approximately know what you do but don't really understand like I don't really understand it either really you know what is it it's, it's yeah. nothingness it's silliness and a lot of them yeah. are medical as well so you just think oh man you've got like like they're really <laughs> smart and they help people it's like <laughs> and then what do what do you do I like um uh <laughs> bomb down like muddy you know like um football <laughs> like tracks um <laughs> On bikes. Who do you do this uh, for? No, oh, you're one of those uh, guys then. There's annoying people in the countryside. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, it's a hard one. Nearly run you over. It's a hard one. Yeah, it's tough I'm one. trying to think of like um, examples of what it is that you do. You test bikes, don't you? Like most of the time you just go like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just easy. I feel like you could get away with like just saying you work in tourism. Yeah. Kind of cool. That's what I normally work say is I work in marketing. Yeah. 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 Lake Toba video. Lake there you Toba, go. That's, yeah. that's what I do. Yeah, I do Lake Toba do. videos. Yeah, and they'd be yeah. like, it's literally you <laughs> still in a water for Lake with Toba. your top off, screaming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep, that's right, yeah. <laughs> hey, talking of Christmas traditions, I heard mm. this and then looked it up. But anyway, I heard that in Japan, because essentially, you know, a lot of Christmas is like, you know, like St. Nicholas, he didn't look like the Coca-Cola Christmas man. Coca-Cola made him look like that. And now yep, we all accept true. him. Yeah. So Japan yeah. has the same thing. But Japan's same thing is Christmas Day. Guess guess what it... Nah, there's no point. In Japan, KFC is a super traditional Christmas thing. And I looked wow. it up. Yeah, because I, I heard this and I was like, what the fuck? It can't be real. And I looked it up and it gave me a load of other ones. Which I think's wow. Fascinating. So okay, I, I, I've um, looked it up here. It says due to a combination of tiny Japanese ovens and a clever marketing campaign, convincing <laughs> locals that fried chicken is a traditional American Yuletide feast, reservations have been made to eat KFC on a Christmas day. 
have to be made. That is incredible. Yeah. That is amazing. That's genius. Isn't it? So they've got all Fair the play like, the colonel. Yeah, the colonel's like dressed up like Santa in Japan. Yeah, so I was gonna say so the colonel like delivers presents in the morning yeah. and goes back with his with his herbs and spices. <laughs> Dude, how, how bizarre is it? And it, That's it insane. and like there's different levels each country obviously like to how religious it is almost. Mm. So like Norway even I didn't even know this, but Norway Norwegians believe that Christmas Eve can coincides with the arrival of evil spirits and witches like it couldn't be christmas and they do it on a different day though too right uh maybe yeah hey, sure. maybe i don't it's know 24th is their christmas right right so it basically it's only logical that norwegian householders hide all their brooms before they go to sleep on christmas so that is a christmas tradition wow that's bizarre isn't it that is bizarre i i think i talk, spoke about this last year um, but there's a really good story about how Father Christmas is meant to be a, a shaman yeah. for delivering magic mushrooms. Yeah, you did speak about is, it, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really interesting. If anyone wants a clip, let me know. I'll yeah. send you a really good really good story about it. But yeah, I don't know the entire story, but it's meant to be that the, the tree is uh, symbolises where you'd hang mushrooms yeah. to dry, I remember you saying it, it makes sense. The presents yeah. go underneath it. It's pretty yeah. cool, man. Like, I don't write anything like that off. I mean... No, oh, I mean, all of it's as relevant as... It is in that All country, isn't it? It's like, yeah, in Austria, yeah. St. Nicholas has an evil counterpart called Krampus. He is the bad cop to St. Nick's good cop, a demon-like creature with one task to punish bad children before Christmas. I like this one. <laughs> That's a good so one. So men dressed in Krampus is costumes. coming. <laughs> exactly. Men dressed in devil costumes roam the streets, carrying chains and a basket for abducting especially bad children and hauling them to hell. Not bad, I quite like that one. Not bad. Some nice kids come out of Austria. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Oh, but there's, there's loads, it's so interesting. Like Ukraine, they deck the halls with spiders' webs. Um, wow. In Portugal, you have places set on the table for dead people. So, you you know, like, you know, kind of how you um, leave a whiskey for, a, for someone who's passed or whatever. They do that mm. in Portugal. Um, Italy, Santa's little help, helper is an old witch. They have these scary looking witches in like the Christmas run up. I, I find crazy. all of that so interesting. That is really interesting. Yeah. I once had uh, Popeye's chicken for Christmas dinner in America. In Japan. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I was just thinking then about the correlation of chicken. But yeah, I had uh, I was a lonely Christmas dude being in America on your own. And having Popeye's. Uh, well, it was me and a Brazilian kid called Caesar. And uh, we went for Popeye's chicken on Christmas. And it was just us and then a load of homeless people. Really? <laughs> there you go <laughs> no shit no shit dude yeah they were doing something and we uh we had no plans that so we didn't know anybody it was really sad when you look back but kind of funny at the same time that we just went out and found popeyes in uh, a town called paris which well, is on, yeah, a shit hole moto town isn't it yeah there you go yeah. paris yeah, raceway it's a straight shit hole paris raceway yeah, yeah straight shit hole oh wow yeah, i've got Christmas, one dude. more for you but it's one more that actually might for next year you might actually consider for uh, sacks um, in New Year in Spain it's customary to wear red underwear on New Year's Eve no way yeah there you go wonder why the small town of La Font de Figuera has taken the tradition one step further a New Year's Eve run with the runners wearing just red underwear coincidentally the town has the highest incidence of pneumonia in the country it's not even a joke that is that actually it says that Right, I'm done with facts. I just thought that was funny. KFC in Japan. That's funny. Speaking of, uh, it's a good segue of Christmas tradition. We did something called the raft race yesterday, which is um, yes in a so a local town called Matlock. Uh, is a river which runs through it, and for 40 years it started in 1960 something. Yeah, that's 40 years. No, it's not. <laughs> it's it. 1960 something. It's more, dude. It's 60. Come on. 60. I still think it started in the 60s. Yeah, yeah, okay, right. Yeah, it, it started in the 60s. Uh, so they've been doing this uh, raft race, and we've done it. This would be our fourth year doing it. So it's Boxing Day raft two, race. Boxing Day raft race. Two of them have been cancelled. One was because of the flood, and then the other one was because of COVID. So this year was our fourth attempt, um, and it didn't disappoint again so we had uh basically the whole vibe is you have to create your own raft it has to be homemade 100 percent homemade you can't bring a boat or anything like that so we two years ago made a barbie car um we won it the year previously in a tank that we made nice. which was it weighed as much as a tank dude it was built on did float though. it was built on the it did float but it was built on the frame of a gator you know those gator car things yeah 
for a fa- farm vehicle. Yeah, yeah. It was built on the frame of a gator and it was the heaviest thing imaginable. Like we really struggled to get it in the water and really struggled getting it out of the water when you're cold as well. But anyway, so uh, so this year we had the Barbie car, which was a sort of take on it, but not really. We used a bit of the same shell. We built la- like, there was big plastic drums on it ladders. amazing, man. You seen the you seen yeah, the Barbie you sent car? Me the Barbie yeah. car, yeah. You, we, you should put yeah. a clip off of it. Yeah, I will. I'll put the clip up here. So basically, you go down the river, and uh, recent years, people stand at the side of the river. They throw eggs at you. They throw flour, nice. water bombs. Unfortunately, which is horrible because it's plastic. Yeah. yeah, my friend got into an argument with someone at the side of water, which was hilarious. But that's by the by. They did stop people fl- throwing flour this year because it makes a real mess of the river. Blah 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 blah. But the the sort of the course is quite it's a it's a mix. It's sort of quite chill river and then there's rapids, uh where they do sort of kayaking on these rapids. So it's pretty gnarly, dude. Like when you in it it's pretty scary. Yeah, Especially no, me. Don't, I don't want to get wet. I've got a bit either. of you don't want to get wet and cold. Especially I've got you. a bit of uh I yeah, I'm a bit nervous. I, I, let's just put it that way. I was pretty scared that morning. I was quiet, let's put it that way. Yeah. I don't like water too much anymore. Nah. So uh, but then the one worst part of the race is this a weir which you have to go down. So different years, it's, it's easy. Some it's hard, whatever. Some rafts go over it quite easily. Some get stuck, etc., etc. So we got to the weir uh, and basically we tilted over it. It's quite a pretty big step. And then it's got like steps after it, which are all made of rock and stuff. So our Barbie car, the front dug in. OTB. And then the power of the power of the water sent it over I was really lucky because I managed to sort of jump out and grab hold of the side of the, all these like rocks and logs and stuff. And I didn't, I didn't go down, but my mate, he was stuck inside. So he went over the bars, the raft ran, landed on top of him. It dragged him down the weir underneath this uh, pretty heavy raft. Oh, and he's got no air underneath. It's not like there's a hollow or anything. No, there, it's made of ladders, so you could get your head up, but ultimately, he's stuck under it, dude. He was stuck under it for about a minute. Oh. So it took, and he's beat up today. That's the guy I said this morning I was out walking with. Like, It basically dragged him over all the rocks, and it, oh, it beat no. him up pretty bad. And obviously, he was pretty scared because he's stuck underneath something in freezing cold water. But he managed to you know, pop himself up. I'll get Benny to throw the clip up because it is kind of funny, but also oh, at is. the same time... It's kind of scary. The start so, of a 999 thing. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, I managed to... Um, yeah. I miss. I, I didn't go down the rapid... Down the weir on my uh, head. But um, Well done. Yeah. You made it out. Hey, I'm trying to find... Yeah. Did we talk about it on, on here? Mm. I can't remember who talked about it. It might have been you. There was a shipwreck. And um, they just assumed everyone was dead. And then some divers went down. This is like a week after or something. Maybe right. even longer. It might have been 14 Dude, I days. I do remember this story. Yeah, I do. I don't know if we said talked about it on the podcast, but I don't have any facts. I can't remember where hmm. it was or anything, but the divers go down and there's a guy surviving in there in an air bubble inside the ship. He's like the lone survivor. Oh, man. And he'd been down there so Terrifying. long and he was weak and he had no food and stuff. So they had to. they then had to get divers down. Like They then had to dive in. It's really dangerous mm. diving in wrecks, I think, because like you can get snagged, and once you once snagged, yeah, you're really yeah, like, yeah. reliant, obviously, on your oxygen supply. So mm. they had to then send divers down there, get him food, teach him how to dive. It was like a really complicated dive, so he had to stay down there even longer. He had air down there, <sighs> but that's all he had. So he's just, just in black, this... probably as well. As oh, dark. Yeah, oh, it's pitch black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pitch black. Oh. I wish we. I, I wish Benny was here to look it up because I can't remember where it is. But maybe one of our listeners will be able to tell us. But it sounds like an amazing story because then they had. Yeah. So as soon as they found him, they made sure they had a diver down there with him at all times, and he had light and, you know, stimulation. But imagine being down there for. 
I can't remember what it was. Just 14 waiting. days or something. Dude, time's going to go slow Ooh. when you just start down there in the dark. Isn't it? Can you imagine that? I don't know what slow. I would do. No, neither would I. Mate, I've no idea. That, that, yeah, just being in the water is just not, not fun. It's just not... Oh, yeah, just I still, I still get scared and cold thinking yeah, about it. Imagine what so. would go through your head just in the pitch pitch black down there. I mean, you bet you're practically waiting to die, right? You're just Basically, waiting. You're waiting on the off chance that someone might find you but like really yeah. the chances it's you... fair play to him for just holding in because yeah, but I, I, I guess feel like there's going to be human... times where you just think yeah but what are you going to do then just drown yourself it. it'd be really hard it's like a very difficult thing even to do isn't it I don't even know yeah. you almost don't have a choice which is why it must be pretty damaging like being you, you know what I mean just being stuck in that like limbo imagine how long it is mm. Mm. I think it was 14 days should I, is it? Is there any point in me uh, looking it up? I actually really? want to know because that is a really interesting story. That's yeah, a really interesting I feel story. Like they're... Sorry, you're doing the googling over there. Yeah, I'm. I'm no, I'm not very fast at it, but uh, mm. <laughs> I, I wish I was. I just couldn't believe it when. Dude, when I water heard is it. gnarly, man. Like it, and it's always a reality check. Especially even yesterday. You know, I I didn't have anything like the experience that my friend had, but just being cold and wet and just. You know, there's a really annoying sort of thing with this raft race too, where everyone has water pistols and sort of buckets of water. So even before we'd set off to do the race, we were all piss wet through and like really cold. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just, you, you know, you're just like, why? Like, why are you throwing water now? We've got an hour and a half sat on this raft in the cold and it's raining. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> totally, yeah. Just in a wetsuit, you know? It's scary, isn't it? Right. Wetsuit and a dress. Okay, I don't know if this is the one, mm. but a remarkable video has been released showing the moment when Harrison O'Keane, who had been trapped for 60 hours, 30 minutes, and not quite what I was saying, but... Well, no, actually, that's a long time, isn't it? He, that's three days. He was trapped for 60 hours, 30 metres underwater in a capsized boat. He got rescued by divers, and they've got the moment that he'd taken refuge wow. in an air pocket... Divers from the DCN Global Diving Company have been searching the remains of the tugboat, which sank to the bottom of the ocean off the Nigerian coast in May 2013. Right. That is... That's... I don't even... It's not as, yeah, it's not as long as I thought. The air pressure, the whole thing would be terrifying. Yeah, just I don't know if it's... pressure on your body. Wouldn't it? And just, the, mm. just that whole... Exactly what you were saying, like not knowing... Silent. Yeah. Dude, silent. That's proper silence, nothing. that, isn't it? But there's a video there. Yeah. I've just sent you the link. Should we watch it? Yeah, I'd love to. Is it in the chat? Yeah, it's in the chat, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. We can play it all yeah. at once. We can always cut it out if it's not even interesting. Oh, my I word. Mean, the, yeah, okay. The thumbnail looks good. Three, two, it does. one, play. It looks a bit like Biggie. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned the volume off. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's playing too loud in my ears, but... Dude, fuck, imagine... Even just, just being seeing, in Imagine a seeing the light. Oh, the hand. There's someone alive. He's alive, it says. Oh, my word. Imagine just seeing that light. You've been down there all that time. Even 60 hours, man. I mean, Dude. an hour down there would be terrifying. I think Never I, mind. Might, I might kiss whoever it was. Hmm. Oh, so the, the diver's getting instructions to reinsure, reassure him and pat him on the shoulder. Oh, and he's been in water, too, so... Oh, he's so, literally yeah, wow. up to... To his oh, there's just dinner. stuff floating around. Okay, so to listeners, at least he's got some food there. Look, there's a can of soda. Yeah, he found which some you probably soda, wouldn't have been able to see before. That's the thing. Imagine you, you're down there and there's all that food, but you can't see it. There's anyway. literally just everything you could possibly want just floating around you, and you didn't even. Yeah, think. you can't even see it. Oh my word! That's that is crazy, food. isn't it? Would you have you been, yeah. ever been in diving? I'm going to stop watching it now. It's Pretty gnarly yeah. though, isn't it? What, what a crazy yeah. story! I, I don't know if that is. The is he story, naked? But you might get naked, yeah. mightn't you? Just have one last stint. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be hard to get in the mood. <laughs> I don't know if I would. <laughs> It'd be, that'd be a tough one. That one. That would be tough. <laughs> no evidence, though, right? He was. <laughs> They're like, oh, there's jellyfish down here. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh yeah we had to make it about that didn't we mm. 
Yeah, so what was you going to say about have had what? I don't even know if that is the one. I'm sure there are other times where people have been found down there, but I wonder I wonder if that was the one yeah. and it was even th- three days is much longer than I want to wait underwater in the pitch black. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Three hours would be enough, to be honest. Even just so a sinking ship, way... just how terrifying that would be. Like a big fuck off ship sinking. <sighs> mm. And like yeah, he's terrifying. stuck in it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, terrifying, man. At least with a big big ship, though, you'd like to think there's going to be some sort of, like, communication, some radio, <laughs> something, something where people can find it. I mean, the ocean's so fast, the chance of them even finding that guy is Well, that poor guy slim. didn't get the memo, did he? No, he didn't. Check your emails, <laughs> dude. He <laughs> said top deck. What were you doing down there? <laughs> terrifying man all that stuff terrifying i think uh yeah we're gonna reassess the raft race for next year i don't know it's getting i feel like i don't have many lives left i'll be honest with you it's getting pretty scary it's getting absorbed, dude. <laughs> yeah i guess you get absorbed we did say that like it'd be fun just to absorb down it but again it's not man-made so you don't think you could it would be kind of cool oh you mean just live in one is that what you mean no i, I meant for the raft race yeah you could live <laughs> in one. Meant, but, just live in i was absorbed, actually I as like soon as safe. i said it i was just imagining a video like a, a GoPro video from a diver going down to the bottom of some shitty river <laughs> in Sheffield, and then you're down there, this is all. wanking in a zorb in the pitch black. <laughs> <laughs> we found someone alive. It's just Davy in a zorb. He sunk it. <laughs> <laughs> right. What oh else have we got? <laughs> God knows what else have we um, got. I'll um, tell you what we watch. I don't know. Is it too many things? Is it annoying when we watch stuff and people can't watch it with us? Or do you put the clips in or what? You know, how does it work? Whatever. What did you watch? Uh, Depends I mean, what it is. Okay, so TikTok makes you feel old, right? Yes. And when I was, with, I was with my brothers and my sister and we were like quite interested by it. And we'd found this craze. It's called, it's, I think it's called Arrested Challenge. You know, they do challenges. <laughs> Have you heard? Yeah. Have you heard of that? And there's, I've not heard, I have heard of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of what goes on. And I tell you what, there's uh, a lot of fuck on, boys on, this, on TikTok. Uh... There's a lot of like, oh, they're yeah. pretty boys, but and they do um, TikTok challenges. They do dancing. They do like funny looking at camera things. It's it's certainly yeah. not anything I have ever got into when I was. It's just all just want like culture, isn't it? It's very. It's well, it's I would about. say it's, it's very likes. bad, but. Yeah, okay, it's really bad. There's, okay, I've got a it's I've got a getting arrested <laughs> POV was a challenge. And it's it's pretty yeah. unbelievable. It's pretty unbelievable, dude. And it's quite like it's there's not many things that will make me cringe as bad as this. I've just sent you the <laughs> I've just sent you the thing. Um okay, YouTube. Okay. And, all right. and they have a pop they ha- they all follow the, the same enough. thing so they have like a popular popular song and then everyone does the same song basically yeah this is what we were saying about the other day right so there's like a popular song that everyone starts doing the same thing or using the same music or like is that right exactly yeah so this was one of the hardest things i've been trying to explain like trying to explain this to my dad was like nearly completely impossible Okay. You know, my, right. my, my... I'm just waiting for the ads to go because obviously I don't pay yeah. for YouTube. So. so I think the first, just the first the one isn't it, but it's one of these fuck boys. Okay. <laughs> it's tough, dude. It's really tough. <laughs> it is really tough. Oh, are, man. are you there right. at the start? Okay. Now? We're nearly, no, yeah, we're nearly, okay, nearly okay, right. Okay. okay, I'm at the start. It's just some, some fuck boy in a white yeah, tank yeah, top. Yeah, yeah. So okay. you can hear this, the song. So <laughs> he's painted tomato ketchup on his face. So it looks like he's been beaten up, and then he looks at the camera okay, like yeah. he kind of like loves you, and he's like a bit distressed. But look at this is serious, dude. <laughs> what on earth is going on? This is a real thing. This is a real thing that people do, and none of their friends tell them not to do it. No, no one they tells them. Just I feel stop. like they don't have supportive people. Around no, they them. don't. They don't. Then if your friend isn't isn't giving you shit for this, then it's not your friend. Look at his face, man. This is unbelievable. This is actually more crazy the more you watch it. Look, this one's good. This one's good. I'd... Look, look. Ready? And... (laughs) (laughs) 
I can't, man. I'm going to stop it now because there's a guy doing commentary now on one. Mate, what are we doing? What is ha- what How- is happening in the world? Can we play those videos in our in our um, YouTube one? I I think we can. We've got I think, to, I feel dude. Like We've we got to share it with the world. We need to figure out the rules on that because and- certain other podcasts will play the clip but not play the yeah, audio because yeah. obviously then there can be some, some issues, but... Uh, let me just timestamp time stamp 54 minutes that is unbelievable there. isn't that unbelievable I'd yeah, love I'd love to hear what our listeners maybe if some I tell you what if someone can actually explain what this but if this maybe this has cultural relevance I'd, that mm. I'm unaware of yeah this it's totally skipped me this whole thing I don't understand it I mean I, I I'm a big fan of pranks which is why some social media stuff I really enjoy <laughs> You remember the like milk milk jug challenge thing yeah. where people used to pretend to slip over and smash milk? Yeah. That's that's my kind of humour in a shop. That's that's my kind of vibe. I really like. There's a YouTuber called Charmy. I don't know if you've ever come across this guy, Australian kid. Uh, he makes really funny like prank videos right, with his right. friends. That's my kind of humour. That's to me that's actually funny. But this like this stuff is. How about this challenge, dude? Explain this fucking shit to my dad. <laughs> in a se- do it in a sentence. Ah, uh, what it is? We all have the same music, and um, then we're all very pretty, and uh, we pretend that the police are arresting us, and then we're looking over our shoulder at what a significant other, or a, is it meant? Is it designed so so you're meant to be looking at like a girl? Would you say is that fair? I'd say that's fair. I guess it's, it's, yeah, it's kind of like yeah, but why yeah. The whole thing is is look, why is it, is it? it like mean, the, the challenge is to look hot whilst getting arrested? Maybe, maybe that Using is the only to look ketchup hot as a. <laughs> <laughs> what is life, dude? Mate, what I is don't it? know. It makes me feel like a dinosaur. That stuff. It really there's does. There's a lot of these, though. There's a lot of them, especially on TikTok. I feel like yeah, there's a lot of them. But I can't someone think needs of to tell them. The what? But then I suppose the problem is they're probably making loads of money. Mm, that's that is the problem. That is the problem. So then, why they are you going to tell him? It, it, probably if, if he if if that what, one of those dudes that looks at the camera, he's not going to care what anyone thinks. Clearly, mm. but no. if he heard, he'd just be like, "Shut up, dude! I'm just doing TikTok." But can he yeah. not, like? I really like those memes that show like, you know, if you were showing your grandchildren a photo of you when you were younger and you're there with like, you know, a, a filter on and with dog dog ear and dog ears or whatever, and then there's you know, your granddad, your actual granddad just in the war. Yeah, with a gun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With a gun in another country. <laughs> like... Yeah. And you're just there <laughs> with a dog filter <laughs> on. <laughs> or pretending just... to get arrested. Yeah. Where he was actually probably getting arrested. Yeah. And they've got like blue flashing lights set up. Like, oh, dude, there's so many opportunities for you to realise it's a bad idea, you know? Like when you're setting the, yeah. tr- the blue flashing lights up on a tripod and it falls over and you're like, oh, Okay, yeah, I'm just going to work out, yeah. Or when you're putting the ketchup on your lips. Dude, do some it... press-ups. Let me just do a few <laughs> yeah. press-ups, like a bit more. Dude, fuck off. <laughs> I think that's what I get from it as well. What is life? I'm open to what stuff, is but... Whoa. There's, there's a certain yeah, point where I just realise I'm just maybe I'm just too old, I don't get it. But if we have anything from our listeners that would uh, help us maybe understand the TikTok Arrested Challenge, I would love to hear from them. Because I'd love mm. to understand it a bit more. Honestly, I would. I don't understand it. Yeah. And it makes me feel I, old. I think the big question as well, Ollie, is what I often like to ask myself mm. with anything mm-hmm. like this. Where is it going? Mm. What's next? Like, What is it? What is next? What, what is it? Like, Where does it go? And I think you've always got to have some sort of understanding of where things are going. Yeah. That make, do you know what I mean? But even, you know, all of that, you, the size of your audience, who are you, who are you sort of influencing the demographics influence where does it go on that isn't it because you have all the stats yeah, really. like who is it that watches that and like yeah, who is it dude. and where is it and what is yeah, it doing and what, where is it going sick. getting arrested. you're not inspiring anyone to do anything interesting with their life at all other than just like you said set up some fake blue he lights looks and... like his hair smells really nice though doesn't he oh mate i'm sure he's a lovely kid yeah like i'm sure he's a great guy mm. very and, like, beautiful. successful probably very ways, beautiful you know? boy yeah entrepreneurial he's using his good looks to make himself a, you know yeah. hopefully a better future for him and his family but or he could just be a total twat and I it's think tough, it yeah. probably could be a total twat I don't know if he came up I don't know I'd like to hear anyway so yeah we just did that we watched we watched compilations of that we were howling like I, okay, I find that unbelievably funny 
that. That's my kind of mm. thing. The humans are doing that stuff is just so great. The world is funny that it's scary right like you're laughing yeah. that's one of those actually laughing at it than with it sort mm, it of is. things it's right you're just at laughing it, at it but i don't mean it in a mean as long way, as bike companies own, don't man. start jumping on that stuff <laughs> we're good yeah <laughs> he's probably like he probably watches bike videos like why why are you rushing down the hill you know it's a good he make and he would be making a good point <laughs> yeah, <it would> be. <laughs> uh, isn't De- is deeks pretty big on tiktok I think, probably... no, Deeks, I think so but Deeks doesn't understand what he's doing he doesn't spend any time no. on it does he he's just uploading okay just All more right. just stuff. I can imagine Deeks being pretty big on TikTok the oi oi movement yeah I can I can imagine Deeks doing well on TikTok yeah mm, not much like that though I'd, although I'd watch the Deeks are getting arrested challenge <laughs> <laughs> looking over his shoulder <laughs> maybe oi oi jersey yeah, on. yeah, yeah exactly yeah <laughs> ripped one with a bit of ketchup um... coming out of it <laughs> yeah. yeah dude that's cool I don't know what I'd do if wow. my son did that oh, you want to be supportive regardless even if it's not something you'd like you know what I mean even if yeah. it's not a sport that you like or a or a hobby that you like you want to be like yeah you do it how old do you think that boy is in that, that challenge like the first couple of kids 17, like, how, 18, how old do you think 19 old enough to know better dude yeah, so, yeah. I bet he went yeah. to I'm a real think, nice like, we're a similar age everyone, oh, yeah, everything yeah, is true. awesome yeah I'm just trying to think if you know you're 36 right 35 35, 36 35 so i'm 35 as well so we couldn't have an 18 year old kid i don't think is that right (laughs) i don't know are you asking me when i first got my my first boner is that what you're asking on on air 17 (laughs) we'd have to have had a child at 17 (laughs) for him to be an 18 year old now is what i'm trying to say so it's possible it's possible yeah so that could be our child not our child well, I mean, it could. No. Could. It's me and <laughs> Good you. Good kid. <laughs> so if me Good and school. you had adopted a kid at <laughs> when we were 17, and then he, he, could, that could he be grew it. up to be like, what, what I'm trying to say the, is... Let's pretend that we're at a dinner table now and we're having a word with him about it. He's like, oh, mm. dad and dad, I've just uh, done... <laughs> <laughs would we be called Dolly? Like Ollie and Dee? <laughs> yeah, there you go, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Dolly? Yeah, Dolly. Oh, Dad and Dad, I've just had something go so viral. I think it's such a sick idea. Me and uh, me and my buddies filmed it. It's called the Getting Arrested Challenge. What do you think? Oh, really? Getting what? What is it? What, what is? Let's watch it, son. Please explain it. Yeah, let's watch it. And we're all sat around the dinner table, and he puts it on. What would you say? We'd have to do good cop. Good it's cop. Time bad you get cop. a job. I think it would be bad cop, bad cop. If we were, yeah, you know. I think it's time to get a job, and I think it's time that we put that phone in a cupboard for a little while. <laughs> I think you need to go outside and climb a tree and shut up for a bit. <laughs> We're definitely confiscating your phone um, and the hair dryer, and don't use the tomato <laughs> ketchup like that. <laughs> and mum's makeup if we don't have a mum, but yeah. <laughs> Stop using your auntie's makeup. That's weird. Well, you can do it, actually. No, no, yeah, you can't say it's weird. It's not weird. It's fine. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, so... Oh. We're supportive, we're inclusive, oh, no. but this is stupid. <laughs> this is a waste of time. Can you please? This is a waste of time. Just I mean, go do something oh, I don't know. real. Go do something real. I'll tell you what we watched. This, this is going to be my watching, actually. We watched um, Don't Look Up on Netflix. Dude, I've got that written down. That's my thing. I haven't watched it, but it's honestly my thing. Look, oh. watching Don't Look Up. There. Oh, there you go. That was, that, that's my thing. It's good. Watching. Is it I, good? I've, I'm going to watch it tonight. I think. Watch it tonight. Yeah. It's good, man. It's good. It's it's. Uh, um, no spoiler alerts. It's good. I think it's a good. This is exactly what we're talking about right now. How everything's marketing. That's what the film. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is about everything's marketing. It's all like how do we market that? How do we like make money off it? Uh, it's really interesting. So yeah, no spoiler alerts. Leonardo, Leonardo kills it in the film. He's really bloody really good. And the whole thing was uh, a joyous occasion to watch on Boxing Day. Oh, brilliant. I, oh, I look forward to watching so, it. Yeah. That's funny that that was my we'll, watching we'll... and I haven't even watched it. But yeah, I've heard <laughs> a lot of people said it's good. So And it, yeah, and you good. didn't tell yeah, me it was good. good. So that's a coincidence. No, no, Great no, no. coincidence. We've not spoken about it. Um, so that's both of our watching. Listening, it's mine's only on YouTube, so you can't add it to the list. But it's a, it's called Cooking, Cooking Soul, without a G, Cooking Soul. And they've done some Christmas mixes, and they've they've done a Woo Christmas, Ooh. a Wu Tang Christmas. So I, I really enjoyed that. Oh, really? Anyway. Yeah, I did some rapping with the Woo Christmas. They've done a number of different. Um, I think they do a Jay Diller Christmas. They do a 
yeah or mad right. lib christmas that was it yeah so it's quite cool i um this isn't my listening but i'm just gonna ask i don't know if you have any insights on this so krs1 yeah i was on my on, on spotify it does something called discover and it shows you all new stuff that you might be into at the moment like new releases and stuff yeah, like yeah. that and i was like oh krs1 new track fuck i'm into it so i clicked on it and it is literally nursery rhyme music <laughs> so i don't know what's going on actually it's on there no i've joke. been on it dude i've been on it it's on their profile as if it's come out as a single and it's just nursery rhyme music what it's so weird. There's no other. It's like a minute and a half long. And what's it? And what's it? Obviously, doing like? it's nursery rhyme music. Bark it's like it's like you know those wind up things. Yeah. Um, and it like a yeah, I had like a ballerina it come like a box. A ballerina comes out and spins around. It's, it's, it kind of sounds like that. So he's gone from and I'm like, is this a joke? Like, whoop whoop! It, as I sound on our police. To yeah, it's bark goes the dog. Is it like that? No, but no sound, no music, no no <laughs> lyrics, no. It's just nursery rhyme music. Wow, it's so weird. I don't maybe know if you it's just like got into that. Ha- you just like playing the xylophone maybe, now. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. Yeah. Getting arrested, challenged, nursery rhyme music bumping. I don't mind, but like, yeah, it's weird. I don't know. Interesting. I, I, and then I was looking on Twitter. I'm trying to figure out like, is this real? But the, I did, couldn't really find any information about it. So. Yeah, that's not my listening, but I, if anyone has any insights, and I don't know why I asked you if you've got any insights, but None. I know you're a hip-hop fan, so I didn't None. know if you'd seen, How like, maybe he's put it out as a Yeah, like when, when um, thing. Snoop changed his name to Snoop Lion and uh, did reggae for a bit. <laughs> yeah. Or for one album. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really Went a reggae, bit Rastafari. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I have got one, which is a track mm. called No Control by a band called Pepper, which is sort of, like, quite... Um, yeah, quite, quite. Uh, I don't really know what, <laughs> what it. Can quite sound a bit good. like Sublime? Okay, cool. Quite good. Nice. I don't. Has anyone seen Axel Hodge's new vlog where he does the uh, flip to wheelie? I haven't, but I've seen the, the flip tr- to wheelie. How gnarly is that? It's the track that's playing behind that. Flip. How sick is it as and well? That's right? really good. That uh, if you think about how long freestyle has been going on, I'm sure someone mm. has done a flip to wheelie on a motocross bike. But it takes yeah, think it so. takes I thought the same thing to do it. Like that's so yeah. cool, isn't it? Like in this weird yeah. sort of um free ride uh category that really doesn't have a great number of people in it. And he's still putting no, out cool no. new new stuff. So sick. That bar's high, isn't it? Yeah. You know, to get in and be at that level, it's him and Berriman are just so far ahead yeah. of everybody else. Mega interesting as well, like it's almost like so if, now if you do that flip to manual to to wheelie the flip to wheelie lander um the clip that you put out isn't shot on a red from a helicopter do you know what i mean so oh. the the, the yeah. culmination of your efforts is essentially an iphone clip there the, that's the one that goes viral that's the one that gets put out it's true isn't it yeah true that but if yeah. that was on yeah, a totally. perfect red camera i feel like you choose mm. the iphone every time i do personally as you know, obviously a bit more raw. Yeah, there's something about it, isn't there? I find that really strange. It's because you're. But also, I like how it's thrown into a vlog that obviously you've not seen it yet. No, it's very. Seen that, no. I like that style of. It's kind of scrappy. It's not. Yeah, like dad cam, yeah, isn't it? I don't know. It's just dad cam stuff. Yeah. It's just like him washing a bike. Next clips, flip to wheelie. Yeah. Next clips, an endo. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Big, big respect for that guy. You know, yeah, too I don't right. know what he's like as a person. Seems legit. Doing um, his own thing, isn't he? It's so sick. Doing his own yeah. thing, man, carving his own path, and and watching it and watching that happens really, really interesting. Yeah, too. And I right. think there's more more space for that in what we in our category in mountain biking as well. Yeah, I think. absolutely, absolutely. And yeah. um, we still we're still not announcing our winner, are we? Yet, how many? How long have they got to to keep getting the entries in? Because we're we're giving away a calculation. The focus jam C. Yeah, it's still under my and it's going good so far. It's still it's doing pretty good out there. Like. There's been a lot of entries. Yeah, there have. It's brilliant. From last time I checked, it's doing really yeah. well. So, do you want me to give you the exact amount of days until we announce the winner? Please. Would you like me to do that? From, there from is. Wednesday, when this podcast From is Wednesday. Released. So, this episode comes out on the 29th of December. Yeah. So, you have one, two, 14 days. There'll be two weeks Ooh, so after this comes out. While. So, you've still got time to think, nominate people, get people to nominate you if you're really bothered. Um, I'm making don't note just of ask, ones that don't, stand don't out. Don't slide into the DMs and just ask for it because that's not going to cut no. it. 
because you've just broken your bike. I'd love to do that to everybody. There's someone I have seen myself, and I'm like, yeah, that's my pick so far. Yeah, I'm doing the same. Um, I'm like fact, making notes. There's two. Yeah. yeah, in fact, there's two people. One of them I'll talk to you about off that. Yeah, this one's not but, um, ran- this one's not random selection, but <clears throat> this one we're going to see. Select. We're seeing some good ones. There's some good ones coming through. There yeah, some brilliant. Good ones. But yeah, please, folks. There's a link to the sh- to the uh, post below. Make sure you enter. Just nominate someone that's done good things. It's a nice gesture uh, as well, isn't it? Just to be entered into it. You know, the fact that you can't yeah. put yourself forward is quite cool. You, you have to put someone else who's cool. Totally. There's some people saying some nice words, dude. I do like it about sure. Christmas. It just makes people a bit nicer, you know, to a certain extent, mm. doesn't it? It's good. Yeah, yeah, I like, uh, yeah. Christmas is definitely a time. I didn't do much giving this year, man, I'll be honest. The presents were slim. Were they, yeah. They were slim. Did a bit of re-gifting, which is... You know, whatever. But yeah, but ultimately they weren't. You know, they didn't get. I didn't get many either, which I think is quite nice. My mum um, got me and Emma just a big box full of nuts. So, nice, that's good. Just I'm, various, yeah, various nuts. I'm um, the same. We're not really very presenty. No, no. But I struggle. I got George. This is a bad one, though. This is a bad one, and she brings it up over and over. And to be honest, it was an extra present, and it's something that we need. But I got George a washing machine, dude. It's big. It's a big present. Big, square shape, easy if to I was wrap. A, if I was a child, I'd have been stoked. You maybe walk into the living room and there's just a big box. You know what, been like, I gave her loads wow. of other presents. She knows what she's doing. She always brings up the washing machine in front of people just to make me look bad. You know, to make me look like old school, horrible, <laughs> sexist bloke. And I'm not. I... What sort of machine did you go Went for? for the Grundig. What, what because <laughs> I went for the Grundig because they used to sponsor the World Cup downhill, and that's not even a joke. Dude, that's, that's yeah. cool. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, it, there were loads of them. That's there funny. were loads of them in there. But the Grundig was the one that really stood out to me, and it was because I saw Uncle Steve bombing along into the finishing area yeah. with Grundig all around on the tapes. So That's class. Still won't buy an Istan X trail, though, would you? <laughs> no, not yet. Give it a couple of years. <laughs> Cash card? <laughs> no, you can get fucked. Yeah, give it a few more years than that. A de- give it a decade, I'll get a cash card. Oh dear. That's funny. Yeah. Um, there's, it's really nice actually to see a bunch of messages. I checked the DMs on um, Christmas evening and a bunch of people, sacks for Christmas. There's a few guys that sent photos of Manscaped stuff. Wicked. Um, one guy got a bike, which was a focus. It must have been a jam, I guess. Oh, yeah. I have, go, I have to go back and find that. But the yeah, dream. someone got a bike and sent a photo. So yeah, it's really sick to see so many people supporting yeah. the people that help us do this. So yeah, dope. Really, really appreciate it. Do you know what I had over, over Christmas, actually? One of my brothers paid an interest in biking. He said to me, look, I, he surfs and he climbs. And he's like, dude, it's so far to surf. He's really good at surfing. And it's also kind mm. of far to climb if you don't want to go indoors. I'm yeah. thinking about just trying mountain biking and this obviously you can appreciate i've been mountain biking for a really long time and i've tried to push my interest on my family to no avail mm. so far buying them bikes you know wow. giving them kit they're not interested they're just, it's just not their thing you know it didn't, didn't grab them like it grabbed me whereas now he this is the first time he's paid an interest so what i thought was the pink bike that's over my shoulder yeah i'm gonna get him on the pink bike and see if he likes it. Amazing. Just, just lend it to Good him and see what too. he thinks. Yeah, we could, I, could, I could even film it, yeah. Mm. He's, so the, Teaching brother Henry. It's Is actually it Henry? Oscar. Now, Oscar, Oscar is the brother who's really, really good at everything. He's the coolest one. Okay. He's, I think me and Henry and Lucy probably all agree he's the coolest one out of all of us. He just like does okay. stuff really well without trying. And I think he's going to be really good at biking. So this could yeah. be a bad move. And that's... He could be. He could be out of a job. He could. He could take over the Instagram handle too with that name, couldn't he? He could he easily could. take over Odom. He's better at basketball <laughs> than me as well. What basketball number would he, does he play? Oh, he doesn't. He's not a pro basketball. Yeah, he played. He played um, semi pro. Yeah, in the UK. Oh right. I don't know what. I, I okay. actually don't know what his number is. I think it. I feel like it was ten, but I don't know. Odom ten. <laughs> could be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, dude. That'd be great. That'd be good, actually. I think it'd be interesting to see you take him out and like see his progression. Because again, you know, I know. Benny often joins us, but people love watching Benny ride. Yeah, it's true. Seem yeah. to really enjoy watching someone progress, and it's relatable, isn't yeah. it, to a lot of people? Think about Not Oscar, everyone's... right? He um, 
He said to me the other day, you know, when I expressed an interest in surfing, well, well, I still mm. do. I still have an interest in it, but I'm just aware that it's a bit harder than I may have initially thought. But I said to him, yeah, yeah oh, sick, dude. Yeah, we should we should go and surf. And he's like, yeah, sick. We can be like newbies together. You know, we can be gr- like bad at it together, kooks together. And then um, a, a photo. He showed me a photo of him surfing. He's like, yeah, look, this wave's like not that not that big, and it's him like with his hand. Like he's got his hand down in the water. I'm like, you're so you're so full of shit, dude. Like it is because he's humble, but equally it's like, fuck you. you you're really good at it. And yeah. You're saying, you know, it's just good at oh. it. so he's gonna be like that. With Where bikes. does he normally surf then? Would he drive to Cornwall? Or yeah, something? he drives all over the place. Right, yeah. Wow. Mm. Good effort. Yeah. Wow. I wish I was close to the ocean. Yeah. I really, I know we spoke about it a million times, but I really do. I really, really I wish do. I was but again years water ago, me when I could have been good. good at it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. There's still time. I think there's still plenty of time okay. to get involved. Is is brother Oscar a lot younger than you, um, or older? Three years. Three years okay. younger. Do you think? What's yeah? Oldest mountain biker at the moment is Greg, isn't it? So he's forty. Because I hate I hate this that you always hear like yeah. people retiring around this age. It's, crazy to me but Dude. especially in the motor side of stuff yeah. like motocross supercross if you get to 30 you're like done yeah <laughs> and i still feel i still feel like 18 ish i know what you mean but then i Do don't you know I mean? want to hurt her at the pace like the fact that greg is still going at that pace is absolutely unbelievable because you don't give mm. him credit for it you watch like like these exciting new young riders go through a rock garden and you're like fucking hell this is a young man's game this isn't for you know this isn't for me yeah like even I yeah. like going quick, and this isn't for me. This is this this is really rolling the dice. This is crazy. And then Greg's just there, week in, week out. Do it. He does the same stuff. You don't get any credit for it. He's just a forty-year-old bloke. Just and PT as well. PT was, yeah. He bombs so fast, and you're like, I mean, I don't know. I get to a certain age. I, yeah, I guess like, you just take it for granted. Yeah, you're right. You just think, that. oh, it's just what they do. They're good at it. But yeah, you still oh, you still have to just yeah, roll the dice a bit. I think on a, a race run, but maybe not. It'd be it'd be fascinating yeah. to talk to, like what a race run means to Greg Minard isn't what race run maybe that you and I would do. You and I might mm. roll the dice. Greg's full he calculated, might be fully in control. Yeah, eighty yeah. percent. You don't. Yeah, you don't know, do you? Good one to get on, man. Would I'll, be. Put, I'll put him on the list. Please stick him on the list. I'll put him on the list. He's on the list. My, it's just a list. It's just two names: Michael Flatley, Greg Minor. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I'm just gonna um, do a quick thank you to everyone that took part in the Week One Challenge as well, because that yeah. was actually really nice to see people do that. Uh, I'm just gonna throw a quick graphic up here. We'll ask Please. Benny to do it, um, just so you can see it as well, Ollie. If that's I've all right. Got... I just got three, three of the best. Oh, let's see him. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, no we got way. the one with Wicked. all of our faces on. Oh, I did see that yeah, one. Yeah, uh, that was... Banzai Bikes did one. Uh, Max Mordor did a really good one, actually. And then Ian, who also joined us on the Christmas ride. But yeah, so thank you. I just got a few. But yeah, I know it's a weird time to launch Blue that. Blue Peter, isn't it, was... it? This is. Yeah, and also this came out the day before Christmas Eve. So people have been busy. So yeah. I think maybe we didn't get as much uptake. But they, there was a good 15, 20 people. Got involved, Solid. sent over pictures of Solid. sunflowers and stuff. I tell you what, I, so. I wrote down my week two challenge, dog. But I don't like after seeing the amazing artwork that's been produced. I don't know if it's along the same. I just thought Let's do it. it might just be that this is how it goes. Your challenges are good. I want to do one. Shit. I want to do one. Okay, mine was to renew an old trail. So I thought we could have before and after shots. It could be a feature. It could be a berm. It could be a puddle that you've drained. This sounds really bad. This doesn't sound very interesting, but it's a rewarding like it. thing to do, and it and you won't regret. You know, you can't regret doing it. You're making a trail better. So, I thought that would be my so, yeah. one for week two. Week two challenge: renew an old bit of trail. I love that, dude. Good. Photo before and after. Yeah. Post it on social media. Tag Ollie. Hashtag Winter Defiance, and then we'll just keep these things going. It's going to be super random every week. Yeah, too, right? Some of them are indoor activities, some are outdoor yeah. activities. That's good. I think the before I like one, and dude. after That's is really quite good. good. I'm going to go out and do yeah, it. Yeah, it's quite satisfying as well to do. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go out and do that for sure. Bit of local trail, go take care of something. Nice one. Well, yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, good. That's yeah. A good one. All right, nice. So I figured on this episode, we've been going for an hour and 20 minutes already, so <laughs> let's chill out. 
we were going to look back at 2021 highlights, but as always, we've just waffled on about anything and everything, and we've not Shit really bricks. done it. So, fucking <laughs> <laughs> KFC. Dude, how does it happen? I don't even know. I don't know. But let's just do, we'll do one each. Yeah. And then we'll have Benny put the clip in here. Um, so, it's been a crazy year, dude. I mean, if you really think back to starting the lockdown companion again, yeah. whenever we started that in January, I think. And then doing, you know, starting this and everything. But is there a, is there a, a clip that stands out or a, something that happened that, um, that we can relive here? I really, okay, I'm going to go for one just because it, it really made me laugh. It is the, and how, and how much we got shut down. Cause I think it's good to be humbled and we got humbled so hard by the disc golf community <laughs> and by their leader. How about this one, right? <laughs> Benny, can you can you Google for me um, Frisbee Golf multi million contract? Okay, because this happened and this blew my mind. Right, so once Benny finds the the data, we need I'm, a thing for Benny. We need a you know like Rogan's got Jamie pull that up. We need young Benny. We need like F- Benny, no. right? Yeah. right Pro disc it, right? golfer Paul Macbeth. Is that what his name is? Paul, Paul Macbeth. Okay, so old. Do you, do you know the answer to this? No, no, I can't remember. Okay, so give me, give me some guesses. What do you reckon, Frisbee Golf? What do you reckon a contract would be? How much? I, rem- I all I remember it was ludicrous money. It was, it was insane. Oh, it's definitely ludicrous. Give, give me yeah. some answers. Is what do you reckon? Frisbee it's Golf for, I mean, for a year or what? Like, I think for so. A year, oh, yeah. Richest oh, deal God. in sports history, apparently. It's <laughs> absolutely <laughs> mental. What? Ten. Is it it's the ten. Sport? Is it sport? <laughs> Who knows? It's a ten-year deal. Okay, it's a ten-year deal. What do you reckon? No, it's frisbee. He's got. <laughs> it's frisbee though. I'm gonna go in you there can't with get... a five million. It, what? What? The, what currency are we in? We're in dollars. We're in dollars. We're in dollars. Yeah, five million dollars. Okay, five million max. All that's worth. I don't even For want frisbee to go. golf. Higher or lower? Yeah, I'm going to go lower because it's not right if it's higher. I'm gonna go <laughs> okay. I'm going to go I'm, three. <laughs> three mil, go, okay. I'm going to go higher because I kind of... No, it's higher. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember, but I know. So, this guy was the number one disc golfer in the world and he yeah. signed a $10 million contract. $10 million? <laughs> $10 million. <laughs> right. Now years. here's where it gets interesting, right? Because I feel like a measure. Social media isn't everything, and it's been it's quite often just bullshit. But I've just looked up Paul Macbeth, and he's got 186 thousand followers. Is that right? it? Yeah, that's what I mean. Huh? He's got 186 wow. thousand followers, and so you guys are similar, <laughs> Max and Olds, which means that Rude Boy's theory... chucking weight. Yeah, and he's wow. and he's yeah, making we've made 10 million. <laughs> Like, dude, that is, that is God, mind no. blowing. I didn't even realise he wasn't even as big as I thought he was. Do you think there wow. has been a? <laughs> I think I think I know of one, but do you think there has been a multi-million dollar deal signed in mountain biking across all sport, like all aspects as in like of mountain one, biking? As in like one deal? Yeah, because I feel one like di- Gwyn's deal that time was a million. Yeah, I think you're right. Million. I think you're right. I think he was open about it, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, but there hasn't yeah. been a multi-million. Do you know, like it's all a... deals combined or just one deal? Just mm. one deal. Because that's one deal from the Frisbee guy. Uh, and who was it who paid him that? Paper plate uh... company. It was a paper plate company. They do uh, party plates. <laughs> 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 he's just out there. Just That's all he's doing. He's chucking away his career. Like There's no way he'll be able to play competitively, but he's just doing a big paper plate advert. So he's got 10 years of just... Oh, fuck. Just throwing plates into the wind. <laughs> Homie's pissing in the wind. But he's probably got a nice car. Dude, no doubt. Do you no think doubt. the man throws a frisbee? Do you think he's got a nice car? I, I've i never heard of it. Frisbee golf, I don't think. I've never... Was it frisbee golf or frisbee... So- yeah, frisbee golf. Fris- frisbee I've never golf. heard of it. I didn't even it's, know it was a thing. Do you, like- know how, do you know how they score? It's like a met, it's like a metal chain net basically, yeah. and you just got to yeah, launch yeah, the true. thing between the trees. 
yeah, into a metal yeah. chain net. I can't be that hard. I'm sure um, I was good at frisbee when I was a kid on the beach. I'm sure I was decent at it. Go on, give it, a, give it a whirl. He's got a purple. Hey, he's got a bright purple forerunner as his car. I was kind of thinking but that's if, Lamborghini money. But if mm. if you if you show up in a like Lamborghini and you people ask you what you do and you say I play frisbee golf, people will just laugh at you. <laughs> hey, to be fair, it's a fucking good sport to have a sports car yeah, because you yeah, can fit course. your equipment in it's one of those little tiny <laughs> boots super Glove easy. Box. <laughs> Dude, nice you're so pack. right. You're so right. Yeah. Imagine just like, yo, what do you do for a living? Imagine if that guy on TikTok comes up, what do you do for a living? I play frisbee golf. But you have a handle. Like, it's one yeah. unfuckable sport, isn't it? It's fairly unfuckable, I'd say. I don't know. <laughs> well, you don't yeah, get laid if true. you do it. I don't think the chicks are like, oh, please tell me more. You know, it's frisbee, do you think- dude. You know, <laughs> played it with your dad at the nudist beach. <laughs> <laughs> do you think when he goes training, he takes loads of frisbees in a bag or just like one frisbee? I don't, like, yeah, Benny, yeah, no, honestly, no, they, I don't they have know. like all, all different ones. He's got like, a stack of frisbees. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You, they the have. barrier to entry is small, though, isn't it? It's a pound for a frisbee, basically. I mean, you can literally start this sport on about two quid. <laughs> yeah. So how yeah. is there that much money yeah. in it? That's what I mean. Like, where is the the margin? What if it's two quid? Then that means one pound fifty of it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how many frisbees must he sell to get ten million bucks? <laughs> so what, what was it again, Benny? It was ten million over ten million five over years. T- over ten years. Oh, ten a million, years. a million a year. Ten but years. even a ten-year contract. Who signs a ten-year sports contract <laughs> for throwing frisbee? That guy. That, that guy in the purple. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Interesting. A million I a year. If... Is it... That is truly mind blowing. Yeah. Right. How much is a frisbee? Let's work this out, Dave. You're a numbers guy. Let's work this out. How much is a frisbee? Ollie. Let's just stop that there. I'm not a numbers guy. Do you How many do frisbees? That? Right, generally, okay. I got told. I got told this. So, by um, someone I can't remember who. So, in general, if it, if you're talking like a, a clothing deal in biking, you're meant yeah. to. If you include all of the product that you get and all of the money you get, you should be looking at at the very least eight times that in profit as an athlete. This is, a, this is a really stupid measure because it's so... I mean, What do you mean? Like, you generate that amount. Like, like the return like on I investment is eight I can't remember who it times. was, but they said to me, this is your, this is your baseline thing on a, low, on a low end support. On, like, the lowest end of someone's... Yeah. Like, the, the bottom, okay. the, the bare minimum for you to be involved in any kind of endorsement with anyone. They, you know, whether, they whether it's, like, a local race team or it's, like... ROI. Yeah. Right. Eight times ROI. Sense. Yeah. yeah. Right, so, so, so they basically want to sell eighty million dollars worth. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like like of how frisbees. How, yeah. You can you can buy twelve <laughs> multicolored frisbee flying disc for twelve ninety nine from Amazon. Yeah, they're a pound each. Yeah. Are so they, yeah, you but know. that's not the company that Paul uses. Paul uses that good shit. That good how good shit. <laughs> that good shit. Much... Okay, Benny. La... Yeah. Okay. So how much is a frisbee golf frisbee? Yeah, so frisbee, it's golf, be a frisbee, frisbee golf frisbee. It's got to be store. specific, dude. Yeah. yeah. And maybe you do need some specific trainers. I like bet you need different boots. weights. I bet you need different weights for different distances. Yeah, there is. Disc there is. There's like, Max, do you know they more have about this? Driver than... discs. Really? Yeah. I... Yeah, they have like yeah, they call them drivers. They call them like they they have them in numbers. The same same as golf, but they just do it with their frisbees, and they look like complete. <laughs> yeah. So, so where it lands, and where it lands, you're allowed to swap it out for your sand frisbee, for your uh, bunker. F- yeah, yeah, or yeah. your yeah, <laughs> sand frisbee. Oh, sand frisbee. Yeah. Sand right, okay. Frisbee. Disc golf starter set with carrier bag. Come with disc golf driver, mid range carrier and a pu- bag, and a putter. Twenty nine ninety nine. How much? Twenty nine ninety nine. It's not even expensive. No, even I, I was hoping it was going to be so much money for 10 milli, dude. <laughs> Apparently not. Yeah, well, they've, got, lot... they've got to shift some serious product, whoever that company is. Unless it's not a frisbee yes. company that sponsored him. Maybe it's Rolex, because that's that's prime real estate there. It's on the true, wrist. we don't know. 
I mean, it's, that's prime real estate. Homie's purple forerunner would suggest he's not getting all the money they promised, but maybe <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, Look, you're right. How, it's like someone's gone. How can we make the frisbee guy more on the phone? <laughs> 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 Bubble car! Bubble car! Right, like, that's mean. I'm sure he's incredible and it's a massive sport that I know nothing about and I would suck at it. Yeah. Alright, you're right. You know, I'm just I'm, I just remember this bit of information sticking out like wow. So I'm yeah. just talking from yeah. jealousy perspective and uh So he I was signed my with actions. Discraft is who signed him. Discraft. What do they do? So just as a as a bit of a a, a bit of a pin in this as well. Tiger Woods makes sixty million dollars a year from endorsements. Bloody hell! I mean, so and that is monsters. From, monsters in that. And then yeah. from playing as well, God, holy it's insane. shit! It's different level, bro. Different level. Yeah. Yeah. I've just level. so I've just searched up Discraft turnover. Their turnover is four point <laughs> six million a year. So they're dumping a quarter of their money into this bloke every year. <laughs> it's so much money though that I didn't realise existed. Wow. He must be he must, he must be the MJ though. He must be the guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, he must apparently, be knocking out like he must be doing hole in ones like on the regs. He must I think be he won a, a hundred and thirty nine of the events in twenty nineteen. So, oh, you know, wow. he's doing something right. I wonder That's if there's lot. many people there, though. I wonder. I, I bet there's only him and maybe like one, like little girl or something like that, who fancied a go. Who was just walking past. Yeah, you. Do, I just, you just. It's so and interesting. Ollie's naked isn't it? dad. <laughs> it's just a world you don't know about. Like we, we stay in our lane. We yeah. talk within people that know about biking. Yeah. Like, like. Yeah. If you went on yeah. it, there's probably a frisbee golf podcast with way more people that listen and like. <laughs> I don't know, it's just so fascinating, isn't it? Finding a whole new world. I try and make a joke about it, but it's like, can't knock it, it's incredible. Yeah. There's a Frisbee yeah. Golf yeah. playlist on Spotify. Of course there is. I what? bet it's boring as sin. I bet it's awful. I bet yeah, it's you spin. Oh, no, there, right there's a, round, there, baby, right there's round, a Frisbee round. Golf podcast. There's got to be like real, a lot of like, um, I reckon steroids would be rife in the Frisbee Golf world. Just yeah. such yeah. one, one arm. Changed Jack the game, Tom. didn't it? Ba- in baseball, steroids. The introduction of steroids was just like. Mm. To be fair, when I, f- f- you know, played frisbee on the beach, I don't think I could drive it two hundred yards. No, like fuck. I used right. to struggle getting it to my dad. I remember you, know, you didn't have the you didn't have the right disc. You didn't have to drive a disc. That's why. That's true. That's you fair. know. That's, fair, yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's true. It's true. Those one stop ones don't work. And that, I, I like hey, that one. Fun fact. I was overwhelmed. The by only that. disc golf discs are the only disc golf discs that are UK made are made in Sheffield. No way. Disc golf UK apparently. There you go. I've, uh, I've been speaking to them. <laughs> so, uh, so we're going to put in here. We'll put the clip in of when we opened up the conversation and then got the conversation shut completely straight back down. Shut down. Yeah. <laughs> completely shut down by people throwing okay. frisbees into a net. That's funny. Um, for me, I've, I've thought about it a little bit, but I think I've, we've got to use this one just because it was so fucking funny. It was Deeks admitting to selling photos of his Yeah, team. that was... And, the, and I think that was this year, wasn't it? It was around March. I think time, so, I think. yeah. March, that was April, really fantastic like that. because that was actually like organic. It actually happened on whilst we were recording, right? Yeah. Deeks is like, only fans. Yeah, only I've fans. Been, I've been thinking, not that I've watched, but I've been advised. <laughs> They have loads of those no face girls and things. I'm just thinking it could be it could be something that I, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, yeah, I'm just, just <laughs> furiously <laughs> wait. Honestly, I think I, I think just, I'd guess if I never, saw you. Be, oh, <laughs> what, talking of like weird Instagram things and that, this is yeah. no joke. I had some bloke the other day say to me, but he's got a foot fetish, and I was like, this is a wind up. The more you dug into it, he was totally serious about sending me money. For, and I was just like, okay, to start off with, yeah, I'll do the odd foot, maybe. And he's like, yeah. oh, can you can you do one with your face? I was like, definitely, definitely not. So, <laughs> What's that? <laughs> your foot and your face? Yeah, like, can I curl my feet? There's the camera. Yeah. And be like that and have my face. <laughs> 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 we did it no, out as well. No, 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 no. just feet. Just see, feet. I... 
Think, <laughs> how much was he it. gonna pay you? It's like he said, I'll pay you good money, mate. And then he started going, you know, how about like 50, 50, 50 quid per like set of ten shots a go? So could it up, but was it for him? Mate, I'll try and I'll try and find the message. It's gonna be a long winded message, isn't it? I don't know I'll, if I I'll, 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 I'll save yeah, it for another day. I think but, um I don't yeah, know say if that. You do it. I, what what amount? No, he just gets to a point of what amount would you do it for? Yeah, but that's that. Of talking of porn, porn hub and stuff. That's mm. how they start, isn't it? They start off going, oh, "I'm only going to play with myself," and then before you know it, they're like, "Well, I'll tell you what, I've got an agency here that will you get banged and you can get paid a bit more." And then that, before you know it, yeah. you're Jenna Jameson, and it started off yeah. with you just going. I'll, I'll take so is that what you're worried about? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he doesn't want to do it. It's a slippery slope, mate. It's a slippery slope, quite literally a slippery slope. <laughs> I think it's an amount that you do it for. If it was 100 quid and you just do one every week, but well, every yeah. week made four. Yeah, but not if you're facing. Think what you can do with that then. Yeah. And then you're yeah, like... it's just your foot and your face. Yeah, but I make whoa. all of them like super unsexual. Oh, man. Like, <laughs> You know, like, like, a, like a YouTube <laughs> thumbnail face. Every single one, just with the, the. I think it's a good one, Deeks. I reckon you jump on that, bro. Especially getting hey. socks at the price you'll be getting them at, man. You're making hey. bank. You don't even have to buy the socks, really. It's, I might, yeah, it's quite. Yeah, well, we, I might get a foot like mannequin, and then I don't even have to use my real foot. Just paint like some mud on the bottom of it, make it look really scabby. Well, mm. yeah, I wouldn't have to fake it with my normal feet, but. You know, the mannequin might be too clean, that's what I'm saying. And then just yeah, yeah. literally just hold it at an angle and with my face in. In yeah. the foreground. Mate, people people buy weird shit. There's a market there. Dirty underwear, you know, dirty riding kit, dirty socks, Deep, sweaty feet. Dirty feet. Deacon's no, dirty no, feet, no. yeah. No, we make this one clear. Yeah. I think I'll stay, stay away for now. We'll see what happens. But I think I'm impressed, dude. That you things get desperate. I at least find it, but it's just going to be a, a palaver. I didn't get yeah. any heads up. I'll bear that in mind for next time. Because <laughs> honestly, like you think, yeah, flipping right, I get my foot out for a few quid, and then the more the calls on you, and the more descriptive he gets about it, they're yeah. going, "I want this photo so you can look into the camera and cull your feet," and he's being totally legit. Wow. I think it's admirable like, that you entertain the conversation, though. Well, that, but then when you think of the flip side of this, I don't know how, how dark we're getting on this show, but just Darker. imagine what he's doing for that picture. Then you're like, no, 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 no. I, yeah. do not, I do not want my face in that as he's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a weird thought. I just feel like there is a price. I know it's an annoying thing to say, but you would do it for a certain amount of money. I mean, like you said, no face. Maybe you can get away with it a little bit. Just so sell, no sell out a little bit. And just foot, would you do it for 50 quid a shot? You. You don't have to have your well, face, it's just your foot. Well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, you only you I did that. <laughs> so he has a foot. He, he is. It's when he's it's foot model. It's when he's taking off your face. <laughs> <laughs> so he is a foot. You're a foot model as well. When he goes, he goes. Can we? Can you share? I'm sure I find it. <laughs> you find it. We'll talk among he ourselves. Go, he go, he's, he's literally just like, yeah. Can you just make sure they're like a bit rough? I <laughs> got. Like, so oh, yeah, I was just like, and I said to the other half, I was like, right, this got to start. It's getting ridiculous. How much money did pay you? No, just that we just did the one. Just and, just it's, good. and for yeah. how many photos? I did like five, and the worst thing <laughs> that was, obviously, anyone who knows me knows I got that tattoo on my foot. I was like, so I used Ness's mascara, <laughs> covered it all up, so there was like no trace to me whatsoever. Wow, and it's no socks then, so bare feet. Yeah, bare. Anyone? Oh, uh, okay. I was just like. Curled toes. I was literally I mean, sat there in my office, just like taking photos, going, "This is the weirdest thing." And then he's like, "Oh, would you mind if you if you just like look into the camera?" I was like, "Definitely not, no." Mm. That was the end of that. But you took the fit. You took the. Oh, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. I was just yeah. like, "All right." And I, would you say you've got good feet? Like, yeah, is this guy a mountain bike guy? guy? Like, I'm what is it? Footed. They're horrible. They're minging. There's... Will you get them out for the the YouTube? No, that cost you fifty quid. <laughs> 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 50 
week, we're going to be a mission. Just browse through we'll there. We, we can can talk can. among ourselves. I'm fascinated by that world. I'm so yeah. boring, dude. When it when I, that's it really strikes me. I'm so boring. Yeah, and I feel like he just forgot what was going on and just openly admitted to selling photos of his feet. But also what I enjoy about stuff like this is it takes on a bit of a life of its own and then it, yeah, it no doubt will keep coming up for many years. Yeah, <laughs> so he's the feetinator. It's not something that just gets brushed over, right? It's just, it's He is it's now the feetinator. So he is now the feetinator for sure. And, was... and I just, I think that's class. So yeah, that, that's that mine personally. Moment, I thought yeah. it's just stuck, stuck with me. But this hundreds yeah there were there are there is, that was podium for me though the feet in eight as well yeah yeah it's definite podium there's been loads i mean the whole thing's just been a blast so and and a massive thank you to everyone that supported the podcast in 2021 uh i actually did do an instagram i just thought i did an instagram thing last night asking people what their um what their favorite moment was so also in the running we have got uh ollie's slund fx to higher demise Say what? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Okay, so we've also got Danger Poo song. Benny joining the team was someone's highlight. Uh, the Great Dane statue incident that was brilliant. Uh, obviously, the feet in it is in there. The the two guys who sent a voice message in for the ride companion dating. Yeah, that was good. That, that was, was very really good. funny. Yeah, uh, dating. We've got the antique salesman having dementia. That's in yeah, there. The Great Dane um, story. Yeah. We've got someone just saying, Ollie, do another vlog. So hopefully there's one yeah, coming there's out, one out soon. Yeah, there's one out now, dude. We've got Dave was my highlight of 2021. Dave was brilliant. Uh, we've got Ollie's reaction to Davey never watching a Bond film. Yeah, couldn't believe that. Uh, still can't. And you still haven't. And no, we've just gone past Christmas. It. All Christmas. Fuck. All Christmas guy, avoided dude. it like the plague, mate. Uh, yeah, there's there's so many. I mean, there really is. So yeah, Ollie's take Ollie. Ollie taking about his mum's dog present. Ah, yeah, poo-poo him. <laughs> poo-poo. Wow, loads. So, yeah, it's been a fun year, man. I'm looking forward to 2022. Yeah, it has already. been good. Um, I'll tell you what, it's had its ups and downs, hasn't it? It's been a Because like, I was thinking about it this time last year. I'd literally just come out of, well, Christmas Eve, I came out of surgery from my, my broken ankle. And then you had, yeah. obviously, a huge crash. It's had its ups and yeah. downs, but it's been, all in all, hey, it's been an up and down year for sure. All in all, we're we're still here, hanging in there, right? And we're cracking on. The podcast is going from strength to strength. Um, yeah, twenty twenty two is shaping up to be pretty fun already. So and we're still having a lovely time doing it. Yeah, we are. I think. Yeah. Well, I am. Absolutely you, no, I am. Always, always look it's forward nice. to it. Enjoy it. Yes. So obviously, yeah, massive thank you again to everyone. <laughs> if there's anything you think we should be doing more of leave a comment below uh we'll try and make it happen this is the people's podcast if you haven't noticed yeah, already dude. so yeah. people's the people's podcast, podcast. Like, we're a community yeah. not just a freaking podcast yeah. come we on we got to listen to qu questions dog yeah bro let's do it let's boots and cats huh? and bounce 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 listen to questions <laughs> <laughs> that was all right man i'm impressed I'm impressed, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Um, let's do some listener questions. At Vander Graham, is an e-bike conversion kit a worthy a worthy investment for DIY uplift? I've seen them. No, I would say a big no. I've got to say, yeah, I would say yeah, a big I think no. It's either in, it's either a, a legit e-bike yeah. or just don't. Because uh, it's don't not. Play with yeah, it. it's just not going to be it. We're not there to, yet. To are be we? honest, we've not. I don't think either you or I have actually tried one, but it's just when you actually ride an actual yeah. e-bike, you'll realise it's very good. And I think a conversion, yeah. I think, could be like fun for a bit, but not very good. So mm. that was good as well about the Christmas ride. There was a mix of people and also a mix of bikes. Yeah, we had some e-bikes with yeah. us. We had some hardtails. It's just a bit of everything, yeah. wasn't it? It's really nice. Um, okay, at Ross Inman one. This is a good question. High point and low point for both of you um, over the past year. Hmm. I mean, if if actually in twenty one, well, it's, we've sort of spoken about it, haven't we? I, I feel like, mate, I don't know if it's the same for you, but what's your low point? I, I had a pretty low point after my injury, yeah. about a month after. Yeah. 
it was it was pretty low, believe it or not, and it did take a month for it to really kick in. Yeah. But um, yeah, I hit. A, I mean, you probably hopefully you didn't really notice on the thing, but you know, um, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty bad, dude. I think when the realization set in that this wasn't gonna get better quick and it's still not it's funny i know we've not even spoke about this but you know we did that christmas ride which was my first time really riding like properly yeah. since getting hurt i've done like jorts but not really hit any jumps or like done anything and i was bad that next day were you yeah i was like yeah i could barely move my back like, i was fucked yeah. up so uh it's still not there yet and i think it's it might always be like this like you with your ankle there might always be some pain or whatever um, but yeah, for me, dude, low point for sure. Like about a month into that injury, when the realization set in that this was going to be at least another twelve months of recovery to get yeah. back to some sort, of, back to real normal. Um, but yeah, that's my 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 low for sure. Yeah. No, oh, well, it was, <laughs> well, dude, it's the same for me. Like obviously, my injury wasn't in twenty one, but it was like mm. pretty dragged over though. Pretty clo- close, exactly. So I started the year. In, in kind of the same position just and it was like it was like yeah. locked down um so i was just in the flat on my own with a cat and a broken ankle and it's just like so miserable just getting a drink even was just so when you when you actually think about what you got up to you're just like fuck dude i did like really the first month just on my own in a flat mm. doing what I thank in a way I'm really thankful to all of the stupid shit that I came up with on video and just to give me and and to be honest I don't mean to say stupid shit but like the podcast dude it had me something it yeah. gave me something to it, it held me accountable every week because otherwise you just slip in a hole you just sat on a sofa you and, do. Like, and no one's immune you to do. it it's same for every, I, I, you know I don't know a way around it I'm in a flat on my own it's mm. locked down I've got a broken ankle same as you You've, fucking broken your ribs you yeah, sat there I'm with on your you. own like, I don't remember how many episodes I missed maybe two but again yeah. it was like right just get back on the horse because if not like you say you'll fall down into a slippery slope and next thing you know you just over it you don't want to do stuff yeah exactly so, yeah and i hope that the podcast is that to a lot of people too like i really do hope and it yeah. sounds like it is which is really nice and again not blowing up arrow and trumpets for that but it's nice to hear that this thing has supported people through what is and has been a shit year for yeah. a lot of people both financially with the jobs or whatever it could be in mental health, whatever. So Absolutely. Um, and just because you do a, a, a Fun Times Freddy podcast or a fucking silly YouTube channel doesn't mean that you don't... There's not times when you're not on a camera where you don't have real moments yeah. of shite. It's not... Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it comes yeah, yeah, across. Yeah, I think it's yeah. good to be positive and I always, I always think this is lighthearted and fun and it helps life to be like hearted and fun actually recording them so yeah mm. good what about a highlight is there a highlight that stands out for the year no, for you no it's all shit not just for... <laughs> yeah <fair. laughs> right highlights I, I definitely have had some highlights because just for, for me personally um coming back from the ankle and getting riding again i uh i definitely you know for me like it's silly little things like doing 360s I've broken my ankle a load yeah. of times. A few of those times they said, I'm not going to ride again. And then you gradually, you know, your first cross country ride for me was just like, oh, I fucking love this. I, I'm meant to be doing this. And then gradually mm. getting more and more confident and riding. It does take a long time. And then just doing 360s, backflips, and then actually doing gnarly stuff and then going full pace. That I don't take any of that for granted. I love, like, I really, really. So I've had a lot of moments where I've just been like, yes. And I owe a lot of it to bikes, I guess, which is cool. For sure. Amazing. That's good, Dan. How good about you? you? I think, yeah. A highlight, I think, Freedom Ride, definitely. Yeah. That was a big highlight for me. That was so good just to get everyone together and do that and see how that's going to grow, hopefully, in the future yeah. as well into something even more substantial. But I think, yeah, that, and to be honest, the fact that that whole month was until getting hurt was really good. You know, we officially launched what is now the Ride Companion the week before, I think that was. It was the week before we launched that. So then, yeah, just those two things lining up of like, it's funny how things just happen, but we launched this, it became an actual thing. You know, we've sort of, obviously we've been doing the Lockdown Companion, hadn't we, for yeah. 18 months before, and then Where's Ollie started, and that was like, wow, this is going to be sick, and then... You know, we sort of thought well, maybe this isn't the right direction for this to go in, but then actually launching this and it having a bit more of a 
long term plan, hopefully. Yeah. Um it's definitely a highlight, dude. You know, it's something that I've been searching for for a while. Yeah, and I'm happy that we're doing it and yeah, it's it's, it's dope. But yeah, Freedom Ride. That's my twenty twenty one highlight was Freedom Ride. Ride. Um it was so fun. So so Shit, fun. we best get planning for twenty two then, eh? Yeah, we should really <laughs> at some point. <laughs> But no doubt we'll take people along on the planning journey. Yeah, it won't take long. Yeah. <laughs> we could do that in <laughs> half an episode. Yeah, kind of makes sense. Oh dear. Uh, at Ben Barnard, pogo stick or space hopper? Oh, it's weird actually. Someone sent me a video of a dude doing pogo, like like street pogo sticking. People do that, yeah. They could, like jump up and down stair sets. They do grinds for real. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, whatever floats your boat. It's but, a tough look. Um, pogo sticking because you'd have to wear a helmet, and then you just. Mm. I always have this horrible vision of slipping your feet off and mm. it just twatting you in the jaw, yeah. just uppercut from Dude, a big, big time, or like spring. pinging you up into like a girder or something. It's just not for me. Yeah. Pogo going. I'm going to just stick with space hopper. It's light-hearted fun. Yeah, space hopping for me. And, Space up, but good for your legs as well. Mm. Like good leg yeah, workout, glutes. good glute yeah. workout. Um, yeah. At sketch, sketchy. How long should a cheese coma last? Cheese. Co- how long should a cheese coma last? How long should a cheese coma? Lo- I mean, what is a cheese coma? How long? When you've eaten too much cheese. Oh, the cheese is at Christmas. I don't know what the fuck mm. I'm doing. In I really don't. I'm terrible at cheese combing. Oh. Are you good at it? What do you do? <laughs> I don't even know. You just put it on the cracker. Like what? You know when you get yeah. given a plate, I'm always like, what the fuck do I... Should I just put Comb it. a load of crackers on? Uh, what do you go with? I like it. I love a cheese, dude. Yeah. A cheese is a bit of a um, bit of a vice for me. I do like cheese. Is it a passion especially of living with a vegan. When I get cheese, I go hard on cheese. Yeah. So I'd like that cheese coma to last a, a minimum the time it takes for someone to get rescued being in a upside down boat. So 60 hours has got to be, you've got to feel a bit off for about 60 hours. Imagine having a cheese board down there. <laughs> <laughs> you're just in the dark uh, with a cheese board. Yeah. You're just cutting off a bit of Stilton, nice cracker. Oh, leave me down here, folks. I'm good. What's your number one <laughs> cheese? What's the cheese you go for? Just like a chili cheddar. I'm chili pretty standard cheddar, with my really, cheese. I don't yeah. like smell. Yeah, I don't like. I don't really like smelly cheese. I'd go Wensleydale with apricot, chili cheddar, jalapeno one. Anything that's not too smelly. I like standard stuff, dude. I'm a I'd big go cheese brie guy. Brie or something. Yeah. I would brie or camembert. Brie's good. Yeah. Brie camembert's yeah, like good with ones. some nice rustic bread, something yeah. like that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna say sixty hours. I think you've got to feel a bit iffy for sixty yeah. hours. It's a long time, but like, if you're gonna go hard, go Six, hard. You like all sixty hours in a zorb with a cheese board. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, it's, yeah, question about freedom, right? So we'll skip that. Um, Kyle Gibbo Gibbs dipping biscuits in milk or tea. I never do it. Tea. You don't dip? I, no, I never really do it because they just fall apart. It just seems to me like a bit mad. I don't really drink much tea. I, yeah. I, I just, every time I talk about food, I piss people off and I just, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to talk about it. I want to talk okay. about food. I love food. dipping biscuits in tea and I love dipping cookies in milk. Okay, there you go. And I don't drink milk very often, so that's a real yeah. treat for me. Like if, if uh, I'll say it quite, if Emma's out, I will go to the store and I will get Milk you're cookies. a nutter and you I'll are a nutter and, I'll dis- and I will get rid of the evidence it's good to hear that blokes like you are still a- still around these days you know good old you know what I did you know what I did a few weeks ago mate and I know and I haven't admitted this yet I was re- we didn't have any food in yeah. the house I was really hungry so I uh, I don't think she's in I told Emma that I was going to post office yeah. and really I went to McDonald's did you actually yeah, <laughs> yeah. what did, so what did you get at McDonald's I only like like the standard cheeseburger and fries and a strawberry milkshake and then dip the fries in the milkshake. Oh, of course he does. <laughs> and then I just came home and she was like, I'm starving. I was like, oh yeah, me too. We need to go and get some food. <laughs> did you? Yeah, you did a secret McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bad that, innit? Real bad. Kind of. I kind of do the same a little bit. 
But I know yeah. George listens to this. This is stupid. But when I do shopping yeah. quite often, I'll just buy like the chicken. Just like I'll quite often just buy chicken legs, and yeah. I'll just eat them in. I'll Very... just sit in the car and eat them outside. So she doesn't okay. know. You know, if you eat them while you're walking around, you don't have to pay for them. <laughs> <laughs> do you know that I didn't actually because that's why no but that's why <laughs> that's why they put the sandwiches at the front of the shop like all the snacks so you grab them you eat them as you're doing do your you shopping and then you leave them that'd be the behind best. bottles of alcohol oh, that'd be the best. that's what you do I didn't even realise I didn't even know that that's was why like they're the front policy they're front of house so you can no, just get them on the way yeah, through Tesco they're making so much money they're oh. like get a sandwich come in do your shopping there you leave go. the wrapper behind a bottle of wine in the last aisle Job is finished. Do you know the one I on. normally get is like the, it's called uh, Taiko fried. It's like fried Japanese chicken, and it has like a peanut satay sauce. Oh, that's nice. I don't eat chicken, but I don't eat, chicken, but that I don't eat nice. chicken. I love eating chicken. Chicken's my favourite. Mm. Not allowed. Well, not that yeah, I'm not allowed. It. My head doesn't let me do it. Oh, okay. Why does it? Why do you eat a cow then? Don't. What don't about this cheeseburger? Meat. What the fuck was in that? Yeah, that's a dude. That's rare, dude. Rare, super rare. And I felt bad after having it. Really? My 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 policy in my own yeah. head is if you if you can't kill it, you shouldn't eat yeah, it. Yeah, I told I told. Could could you kill a chicken? No, that's exactly I, what I, I had a struggle. conversation with someone on the Christmas ride. Actually, exactly that. I'd kill a chicken. I have it, killed chickens me, was before, it? and I will kill, kill chickens again. But I won't. Ki- I wouldn't kill a cow or a pig. So I don't mm. tend to buy it for myself. I'll, you know, okay. I'm not fussy. I'll eat it. Hard. See, this is why the turkey thing's weird at Christmas because it's not that nice. And turkeys are actually really cool animals if you watch a turkey. I'll kill a turkey, dude. Would we've you, talked yeah. about this before, but I w- no, we've talked about killing swans. Can I just swans. use that, that clip? <laughs> I kill a turkey. I kill a turkey. <laughs> I reckon I'll kill a turkey. I reckon I'll kill a swan. I don't want to eat a swan though that much. I just want to eat chickens, and I'll kill a chicken. Yeah. Okay. Should we move on? Oh, that's great. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. okay this is a good one at T Lancaster moral choices when getting paid by sponsors do you have any how, how do you mean um... there is an IE here but I'm going to leave it out okay so moral choices for me are like well I, I only ever work I've, I actually only work with companies that I know are sick like I think it would be difficult yep. to sign I actually so here, so it's a good one. The fizzy drink. I'm, I've not exactly got the fizzy drinks knocking at my door. I'll be honest. I'm 35 years of age. They're just not interested. But <laughs> if they did, I don't actually know if I would because I just don't really know. I don't know if I could promote yeah. it. You know, I do. I do have um. Uh, I, there, there are um choices when you do when you uh, do deals. Yeah, there are. For sure, and I, I mean, obviously, I, I come at it from a totally different angle as as you from from for myself, uh, and have done in the past. Sorry, more more accurately. Even when it comes down for me, even when it comes down to working with brands as a sales agent, I'm like, oh, it doesn't really resonate with me. 100%, I don't like the same it. Same thing, really. yeah. And it's, it has been the same with the podcast over the over the over the years. Really, certain brands want to get involved, and you're like, nah, it doesn't really and uh, resonate. So morally it doesn't feel right you know there's certain things that you see athletes doing you can see straight through it because you're just like he's been paid to do that like you can see it and we've always said you know the sponsors we have even on the podcast are you know they're legit absolutely you know we don't just sit here peddling crap no and i'd like to and that would feel awful to do that and i'd like to just say Three, two, one. Manscaped. Manscaped. Dude, listen to me, man. You do not want to come in to 2022 with a hairy set of nuts. You don't, right? you can't. You can't bring that hair from one year into the next. Get it gone. No, shed that shit off. Get it How gone. How do you get it gone? Mate, I'm doing low... I... Physic... Actually, how I do it? Okay, get in the bath. Nakedo. Full nakedness. I've made sure the manscape's perfectly clean. I start at the top, around here. Shave all this down. Hold on. Shave the chest. I do the wanker's tash. I do the nut sack around the 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 area. I get in underneath. I do the gooch. I clean the manscaped off. I put it back in the bag. 
leave it for the next week. And, uh, and that's what I, I think do. there's that's no my... way you could do that unless you're using the lawnmower 4.0. Am I right? Mate, the lawnmower 4.0 is the dream. I mean, it, it can take care of the facial hair, the pubic region, the gooch. It is an absolute dream, man. That RPM motor, what is it, 4,000 RPM motor? Dude, it can tackle anything. Can. You can mow your fucking lawn with it. Do you know, I to. laugh about myself because when I first got one, I questioned um, whether it's waterproof. Of course it's waterproof. <laughs> No, you can. Yeah, of course, man. You can use it outdoors in the in the yeah. UK. You could use it in a river. You yeah. could, if wherever you feel you want to get rid of that. Absolutely. Hair, hey, how how can know? we share some of this to our listeners, mate? Again, this is probably quite important at the moment, folks. So if you have been on the fence about getting involved with Manscaped, now is the time to do it. We're moving into a new year. It's contract season, folks. We're in contract negotiation season. So we've got to show them that this podcast is where it's at. Manscaped have sponsored Joe Rogan. They've sponsored The Fighter and the Kid. They've sponsored Lex Friedman. But this community is where yeah. it's at, right? This is we where it's at. Them. These listeners. We've got to show them. So, folks, get involved. It is manscaped.com. Enter the promo code RIDECOMPANION20. That'll get you 20% off. Plus free shipping. That's right. Free shipping, folks. They bring it to your door. You don't even have to go and get it. No embarrassing conversations with the mailman about what's no. in the box. Nothing you like just, that. It's just boom. You just it's scurry it's off into that toilet, strip down, and, and buzz off. I'm still wearing this every day, dude. The refined as well. Lovely, beautiful. isn't it? I mean, the fragrance beautiful, is really quite refined smell. itself as well. It's lovely. Feel feel like a grown-up gentleman. You're right. Do you know one thing I started using as well? It's the weed whacker. I use it on my nose and my yeah, ears. I, yeah, I gifted one of those this Christmas, mate. I'll be honest with you. Well. It's not mine. Yeah, I, I gifted, gifted one of those. Them, yeah. I did gift one of those. And, the, and the, you know, my mum's partner loved it. It was like, wow, I actually need one of these at the moment. Got Stoke. a few of the old nozzle hairs coming through. So, um, yeah, I gifted one of those there. Fantastic. Manscaped.com. Rod Companion go. 20. Help us out here. Come on. Help us out here. Come on, me. folks. <laughs> Joe Rogan's got all the money. Can we have a little bit? That was a good segue, <laughs> wasn't it? I enjoyed that. That's yeah. nice. Couple more? Yeah. All right. Um, Dan Ackley, biking holiday plans for 2020. Where Basically, I think he's asking where he should go. Where, he should, where go. should he go, Ollie? Dude, do I even need to say it? Get yourself to freeridebadira.com and this isn't even an advert. I just do free advertising for them because it's my favourite place. But free ride yeah, Madeira, you, do a lot of it too, man. you can't go you wrong. You really like dude. it. You can't go wrong. Three hours and something in a plane and you find yourself on a magical island seemingly made for mountain biking. And the mayor of that island is John Fernandez from Free Ride Madeira. He's not the actual mayor, but let's just go with it anyway. And he'll show you around all the best trails. <laughs> And you have a lovely time. Mayor Fernandez. You have a lovely, lovely time. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, we got a pretty long one here. I'm going to freestyle it because I haven't read it yet. So, dudes, here's my listener question. This is from Matthew. It's kind of three parts. Ooh. So, me and my missus are expecting twins to join us and our first son, Seb. So, he's expecting Congrats. two children. Congrats. First part is how do you name twins? Like, do you just give the first one out, the first name you think of, and the second one the second name? Secondly, can you swap their names if you think they're better suited the other way round? Or do they have to live with your naming error for life? Third part, do you both have any recommendations for names? I mean, hmm. Oliver and Davy isn't a bad... It's not a bad shout, is it? Or Shout! If you did that, you preferred you Stuart. You get really, forever. You? you would have preferred Stuart. I prefer Stuart. So Oliver and yeah. Stuart. Ollie, Ollie and Stuart. <laughs> hey, I am um, a couple of one-two cutie yeah, pies exactly. right there. I spoke to my mum about it at Christmas actually, and, and my brother Oscar was for six weeks. They didn't know what to call him. They just called him Bump, I think, because he was the uh, uh-huh. Bump. And what before he was born or after? after? Yeah. After it was just like oh, wow. I think loads of people just call their kids baby, but it sounds like the, the it sounds like these two have already have a kid called Seb, so they probably Seb. already yeah. been through that. But yeah. I think you don't. There's no rush. There might be a name that suits no, one and not the other. It's difficult. It's it's hard, isn't it? Because you don't really know that person yet. 
names are made up anyway. I mean, he doesn't. Do they have to have a name? Mm. It's quite a hard one to get. Do they? they do a little bit, yeah. But I mean, <laughs> mm. I struggle naming. So I struggle naming a baby. It's probably why we don't have. Children. You just call it the ride companion. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. F- I couldn't <laughs> think of anything. I'd say bring back a name. Bring something yeah, back like that's not been used yeah. for a grip. It's, it's, a, it's a fine Arthur, line, isn't it? Cool you name. Sound a bit Hollywood. We were talking about it. One of my brother's friends was having a child, mm. and he was going to call the child something super gnarly. But I don't want to say it because it's one of our listeners might be called it. But it was like a really one of those really like pretentious names that you expect like Tom Cruise's children to be named. Okay, and right. um, bring back something. Yeah. Nigel, Neil. I tell you what, this is this is a couple of one-two dudes that aren't qualified to answer this question. Let's move on. No. Comments below. Good name for twins. Yeah. Matt and Jono. And we'll we'll name your kids. Okay, Matt and Jono just it's, it's, Matt and Jono it's worked before. There's there's some of the best people out there, aren't they? Matt and Jono. Yeah, Matt and Jono. Um, okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Ali Reid, any interest in starting more social rides across the country? I think I enjoyed the last good. one. Certainly. Last one was good. Maybe. Maybe we could do something. We've been talking about it a bit, I guess. Different yeah. religious it, holidays, it was nice. didn't we? We could do Hanukkah rides. Is that Different. a holiday? I don't even know. I need sharp. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> we could do Easter one. We could do all sorts. All different Easter ride religious would be cool. holidays, yeah. Winter solstice, summer yeah, solstice. pagan ones we could do, yeah. Pagan ones we could do. Yeah, I think, yeah, there's, there's definitely something in it because it was so fun. So yeah. Let's do it. Um, okay, I think that's pretty much it, dude. All the good ones. Anyway, apologies if I've just called your question shit. But um, <laughs> one... <laughs> Keep okay, listening. One New Year's, New Year's resolution. <laughs> William got asked for one. William B76. New Year's resolution. Do you have any, Ollie, that you would like to share My with New Year's resolution... <laughs> Some real boring ones. I don't really ever do these properly. Do yeah. you? I never really do these. I'm not really like... I, I write down goals more, but not really resolutions yeah. because they, they are tough to stick to. I think just take it slow with anything I'm going like to go... Um, this year, I'm just going to go full positivity. We'll see what happens, but I'm going to go all out and I'm going to really, really work hard this year. Nice. Can we see more videos from you? Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll get. I'll get more. We'll more videos, put more man. effort in. I'm gonna just try harder at everything. Make each day longer. Do more. Do more. How's that? Do more. Yeah, do more. I like it. How about like you? That. And I'm similar, actually. It's similar, man. It's similar. It's like I just want to do more. I've been watching this guy's YouTube channel recently. Um, he's called Liam Brown. He's not really that big on YouTube. I just stumbled across it. He did a thing where he walked from Johnny Groats to Land's End. And he documented it. And it was really interesting. And uh, he's quite good because he's like, have you seen that Bo Miles guy, the Australian who does like adventures from his back garden? So he'll like walk to work. It's like, you know, 30 Ks. And he does like all these little challenges. So this, he's like an English version, but kind of not that big. With the greatest respect to Liam. But I want, I love doing stuff like that. I'm just leaving the house in the morning and just going on an adventure. Whether it's on a bike, on your feet. I just want to be more like present with, my yeah, surroundings. Nice. That's my New Year's resolution. I like it. More swimming, all that sort of yeah. shit. So, any sort of arre- getting arrested on TikTok challenges, or are you not going to really do those sort of uh, challenges? I'm, yeah, I want a million followers on TikTok. That would be quite funny <laughs> to work towards, wouldn't it? No, <laughs> <laughs> it'd be way too much time just staring at your palm. It's true. Yeah, that'd be weird. On that challenge. Um, Thanks again, everyone, for your support in 2021. We're going to take a week off. So the first week of 2022, we are going to be on holiday. We are. Podcast holiday. We're going to be back Podcast swinging holiday. for episode 27 in the new year, though. And we hope you have yeah. a lovely, we- lovely time. And we'll be announcing the winner of the frame. Oh, yeah. Get amongst it. Please get so amongst kicking it. Kicking yeah. this shit off with a bang. So get amongst it. Yeah. All right, folks. It's been emotional. Thanks again for all your support. We appreciate the shit out of you. And... uh Peace, Peace and, and love. love. See you in 22. Love.